Just can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, everybody. It's uh, Johnny Bean. It's 5.08 p.m. out here in California. 8.08. It's Bob, ta- Bob time, where uh, these two guys are. October 23rd, 2018. David Nesdal. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm doing better. Doing much better. Mark. Mark Hazansky, man. Johnny, how are hey. you? Good, good, good to see you. It's been, it's been a little while. It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a little while, yeah. How are you? How, you? Dave? How are you? I just saw good. you. How are you? Yeah. Good. You look good. You look the same way. You look the same way you did on Sunday. Yeah, just a three D version, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Although someone said to me, they were like, "Oh, I didn't realize how tall you were. You're always sure. sitting on the show." I was like, and yeah. looking up at your computer. Yeah, yeah. I kind of have it kind of sitting high, so maybe I look short. Mm-hmm. No, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're tall and thin. Yes, he is tall. I don't know about you. See, she she didn't say thin. She did. Oh, <laughs> okay. well, I said. <laughs> <laughs> you're not fat. No, I'm not fat. But um, yeah, you know, soft middle age setting, setting in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, no, it was fun. It was a lot of fun seeing you and meeting your fiance. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brian. Um, it was nice to meet you guys. Uh, well, not to see you again and to meet her. So yeah, yeah. Thanks. Same here. Yeah, it was a it was a great bunch. Well, actually, we we can get all in, into this in a minute. Johnny, yeah. uh, why don't you uh, do your thing? Who's here? Uh, now that, who's, now, now who's that you're here? like five pounds less heavy on the face, why don't you uh, <laughs> use that use that you know chin of yours and talk? Uh, you can actually see my mouth like opening now. You couldn't yeah. see it before. <laughs> it was just like. <laughs> Oh, we got Mr. BHB. I think that's Bruce. Uh, Jim Nicholas, Adow. Caleb Rappaport. Caleb. Uh, Carlos. Didn't you guys? Didn't you guys meet Carlos? Yeah, yeah. Carlos was, was there. there. Carlos was there. Super cool dude. Yeah, bought a nice amp. Good yeah, thing. yeah. He said it ripped. Mm-hmm. Oh, it ripped. Oh, it ripped. <laughs> oh, it rips. It rips. <laughs> it rips. It rips. It ripped. <laughs> I was using the past tense. <laughs> uh, EJ's Guitars is in the house. Um, I think that's it. That's oh, it. Ben? Ben? Ben Coombs is in here. Broken Chains, JJ's House of Jams, R2R3 Locking Nut, Thomas Santiago. Um, yeah. And more. And more. Well, it says we've got 45, 47 people watching, so um yeah if you're new uh sign in to make an account uh join us in the chat say hello stafford studio mike palette two yeah good to see you guys yeah, so what'd you do this weekend johnny oh i watched uh videos of what you guys are doing <laughs> um Actually fine. no, I I don't I don't remember Saturday. Well, what's today? Wait, today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Okay, yeah, Saturday I don't remember. Um, Sunday, uh, I just remember texting with Rob, and then him sending me some some footage that I that I uploaded from your guys' uh, event. Um, and then yesterday, just busy yesterday. Today, uh, same stuff. You know, mm-hmm. what about you? What what uh what have you done since? Um... Well, it's been a busy, busy weekend. Hmm. Tell yeah. us more. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Thursday I got engaged, which you know. 
Friday, uh, we had uh, a uh, family dinner uh, for Desiree's birthday weekend. Desiree is also, it was her birthday on Saturday. So we had a big dinner Friday night before the show. Then Saturday, Desi and I went and had dinner. Then Sunday, we went to EVH Con. And yesterday, I uh, had surgery on my arm. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Not, not pleasant. But uh, I'm okay. It, it's you know 24 hours to recover. Um, pretty much there. I'm you know a little uncomfortable, but not not bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. That's good, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You texted me this morning, I think, and you said something about that. Yeah, it's uh, they go in and they widen the the vein for for the uh, dialysis. So you, know, you can do the transfusion thing, and uh, from what I'm told, I got to do that every like every three months. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that, that's a little bit of a pain in the rear end. But that sounds like fun. It's is what it is, but yeah, it's thank God it's not terribly painful. It's just a little uncomfortable. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling no, no. better already. I drove today. I, you know, I was a little woozy. Like I think they gave me a little too much uh, uh, gas, but uh, you know, because I, I felt like I was in a fog for a lot of the day today. But I'm better. Here. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Uh, who else is in here? We got some more. Uh, I saw some new names. Dry heat. Four eighty. Dry heat. 480. <laughs> Thrash metal and fun riffs. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> um, huh? Blink Palette, too. You don't wear a beard? What? Oh. What? Zombies. What? What? <laughs> Zombies. They're coming. Halloween. <laughs> Uh huh. Bearded zombies. They're going to be knocking on my door for candy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard zombies. I heard they love candy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow, old man Dan, the 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 beard is gone. What? Oh, must have fell off. Isn't that a BB King song? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I left it in the car. That's awesome. I Beard is that. gone. <laughs> Beard is gone away. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I was, I, I had, oh, I know what I did yesterday. I went to Target. That's right. That's what I did. I remember walking past the the Halloween section and I, I had already shaved, but I thought, um, what if I buy a fake beard and just wear that, you know? Good idea. No. <laughs> yeah. No. But you you left the soul patch. You left the you left the Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that's right. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The, the Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's nice. still something there. Yeah. 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 yeah if you yeah. if you guys would have if you guys would have known me in um in when did I do that the early two thousands this was my thing. So I look, I look a little kind of similar to how I did uh, in 2000, 2001, 2002. But old and fat. But was, yeah, it was pretty popular in um, like the nineties, right? Like the yeah. grunge era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when I see that thing, I think of uh, uh, the Smithereens. Remember them? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, he just has to change his hat a little bit. <laughs> Maybe like it turn into a beret or something, but yeah, I I have one. <laughs> I've, I've got the one that uh, oh, what what um from uh, from France. I don't think he watches us anymore, so it's okay if I forget his name. <laughs> Pascal. Pascal, yeah, Pascal. Where have you been, man? Pascal Barat. Oh, he sent you a uh, a beret. That's cool. Yeah. 
I used yeah. to like the smithereens. That's probably why we he he doesn't watch us is because you don't wear it. You don't you know, you're not thankful for his gift. <laughs> no, I'm very thankful. No, he's he sent us a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. He didn't even remember his name. Why would well? We... Well, it's been a while. Although I think I still have him, I I have him on Facebook, so I think I, I do see post I do see his posts from time to time, but because of the time difference, remember he had to wake up at like three in the morning to watch us. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he he probably just has different hours now. Yeah, another one. Egg Mc, uh, Ed McMuffin doesn't doesn't join us either anymore. Oh. Jim Nicholas just mentioned that. <laughs> you know, you wonder what happens. Maybe they moved on, or now he probably works at Burger King now. Or they moved on to another. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, I mean, if if you scroll back, if you watch, you know, shows from older, sh you know, from like a year ago, two years ago, whatever, you do see different names. Can you, you see know? the chat from the back then before they started doing this, where you can save that they have a chat feature? Oh, um, I guess you couldn't. I guess you can't. Um, actually, before they started doing the uh, the live chat thing, uh, remember they used to. They would leave comments on the videos live. Right, 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 right. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So we'd be done with the show, and there'd be like a hundred comments sitting there, you know, all like down, you know, in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Mark, do you have the chat up actually? Yeah. yeah. So Broken Chains just asked you a question. Broken Chains. Uh, let me see if I can see it. Do you know what it is? Yep. Question for Mark How old were you when you left Brooklyn? Uh, when you moved to Florida, did the music scene get any better or worse? And was it harder to find lefty guitars in Florida? Wow. That's cool. I don't know how you knew I uh, left Brooklyn. That's cool. He's a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I left Brooklyn like when I was around nine or ten. Uh, my parents were getting divorced. And my, my grandma was down in Florida. So moved to Florida. Um, and I wasn't playing anything until like maybe around 16, 17 on drums. Um, and then once I got into college, it was a bit more on drums. Um, so, but the music scene in Florida was actually pretty cool because at the time I took some drum lessons from, um, uh, this guy who was in a rush cover band, they were called vital signs and mm -hmm. Uh, he still teaches and everything. Amazing drummer. And the band was incredible. So I used to go to their like practice sessions and stuff. But they, you know, it was it was a pretty cool scene back here. Um, but it was much better in New York when I lived in New York. So as far as lefty guitars, uh, it's it's been a lot easier to get lefty guitars in recent years, which is why I have too many of them. <laughs> uh, it's a lot easier these days. So that's good. I'm glad that they've started catering to lefties, you know, even EVH, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I, I'm very happy for that, but my wallet isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's unfortunate the, uh, you know, how much money guitars have gone up. You know, it's. Yeah. It, it's, for a good uh, guitar, yeah, it's, it's expensive. Yeah. Crazy, for a bolt-on next guitar, it's still I still get shocked at the price of over three thousand dollars. You're like, what? Yeah. Like even with a Sir or an Anderson or like some of those guitars, I don't own them because I, I, I mean, I think I'm sure they're amazing, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money on a bolt-on neck guitar. Yeah, and those guitars cost even more. You know, more than three grand. You know, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you order a new one; it's going to be over four, probably, unless you get like the basic standard, like Strat copy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, Howie. Hey, Howie. <laughs> He's getting up the stretch. Yeah. Um. Hey, Janice. Janice, hello. Wasn't uh, wasn't Janice, Janice yeah. there as well? Janice came to came to EVH Con. Yes, she did. I think she had a good time. I didn't meet Janice. 
Janice was there for a while, and then she, uh, you know, she moved on to another. Uh, I think there was like an open mic, an, an open mic nearby that she wanted to go to, and she went to that. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Howie's staring at the door. He's like, Johnny, I need to go out. You have to go out. Uh, <laughs> I took him out three times already. <laughs> well, he's old. He's got a little bladder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be I'll be right back, and then yeah, yeah, and we can talk about the EVH con. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. I have a question for you, Mark. Sure. How is uh how is the your flight back down to Florida? Completely fine. You're lucky. I don't understand how some people have all the luck luck with flights because every time I try to get on a plane, it either gets uh, uh, delayed or canceled, no matter what. My my flight times never work out. I mean, I would say I fly. You know, I fly a lot for work, so I'd say seventy percent of the time I am delayed. Mm. So the other thirty percent, I'm pretty lucky. But I but I usually fly to uh, you know like New York or like the Westchester area or like. A little smaller airports. I'm not flying to like or Philadelphia. Philadelphia usually gets delayed. Mm -hmm. Getting out of Philly, always. Yeah. Boston, Boston, it's like 50-50. So yeah, but it was okay. But the the best part was that no one bothered me about my guitar case going up in the overhead on the way up or the way down. That's pure. did you take it in a gig bag or a hard case? It's a it's like a mixed. It's like it's a little bit smaller than a hard case, and it's a soft case, but it has like foam, so it kind of protects it. Right. And um, so it's a bit square, but it's a bit slender, and it fits in the overhead fine. But um, well, that's cool. I, mean, I was just waiting for them to give me a crap about it, but they didn't. Yeah, I don't think they're allowed to anymore. I, I think. Uh... Well, there's a law, and yeah. you know, but so I've run into jerks who are yeah just like you know sorry sir there's people but the good news is i i fly so much for work that i uh, i have a good status so i got on the plane first so yeah. I, you know it was like uh disabled people and then they call like the mosaic people for jet blue sure and i'm like i'm like okay i scoot on hopefully no one sees me <laughs> that's the only good thing about about me being you know uh disabled like, oh even though I don't really look disabled, I, uh, I get in a wheelchair and I go on first. Oh, why not? Yeah. You should. Um, that's And that's the way it is, you know. And typically, it's the disabled first, and then they call the mosaic people. Mm -hmm. um, but I, what I don't understand, and I, I often am like, oh, I feel bad for these people, but they'll call, they'll call the oh. disabled people, and then they'll call the mosaic people, but then they don't call... Um, the women and children, you know, like like people who with children who need extra time or something like that. Oh yeah, they should do that. So like I, I often see like um, even you know whether it be moms, dads, people with kids, and they try to go up and they're like, oh wait, we you have to wait a second, you know, like we're we're, good, we're getting our mosaic people up, and I'm kind of like kind of embarrassed, like I you know you should take these people first. Yeah, that's cool. So Caleb. Uh, asks to see the case that you that you take on the plane if it's available. Oh, I'd have to grab it in my garage. Oh, uh, if it's if it's out of the way, then don't worry about it. Put it on Facebook when you can. Yeah, I'll send him a picture. Cool. What else do we have here? Uh, Mike Pallet says if his flight gets delayed. Uh, he hates flying. Yeah, he hates flying for any ex extended time. Yeah, no one likes to be delayed. That's just horrible. And yeah. it should be women and children first. <laughs> Van Halen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. There he is, and he's back. Hey. Yeah. 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 yeah I don't like. I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, he went a little bit. It's all that all that tea that we drink. 
<laughs> you chai tea. <laughs> yeah, I don't like flying either. Um, I do it though. It's I don't know. I don't like taking off. Is that what you guys are talking about? Flying? We were, but no, uh, being yes. yeah, not but really. I I asked uh, I asked Mark how you know if he got home uh, or if there were any delays you know because every time I get on a plane it's either delayed or canceled. I just want to know how his flight was. You know it really is the best the best time to fly is the first the first couple flights in the morning because mm -hmm. usually the flight is already there. You know mm -hmm. if you as the day goes on things build up and the delays are usually not weather related they're usually like oh something got started late and then they're trying to make up time and they can't make up time and then you're screwed right yeah at least that's what i found so like if i get out early in the morning i'll be all right most of the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. uh will 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 durham hey dunham dunham <laughs> Durham, Bull Durham, Bull, 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 Bull Durham, Durham. Um, so why don't, we, pop? why don't we get into some EVH con? Yeah, yeah let's talk what, about it. What happened? What is EVH con for those of us that have no clue? Go ahead, Mark. Sure. Um, so Joe Suma from Greenwich Music in Greenwich, Connecticut. He started this uh, EV, EVH con, I guess, four years ago. This was the fourth mm -hmm. annual EVH con um, in Greenwich, Connecticut at his store. And he has really, you know, every, everybody brings their guitars, all their EVH guitars, anything EVH related. Uh, there's a backing band there. So uh, like a house band that lets uh, any guitar player who wants to go up there and play with a band uh, to play. In this particular case, it was classic Van Halen. Uh, with you know David Lee Roth stuff, and it, it's a freaking blast. It really is. It's it's so much fun for anybody who is a big Van Halen fan. And uh, I, you know, the only thing you could ask for more that would be like Eddie to show up or you know do a video or something with us. But um, other than that, it's it's such a cool day to hang out with everybody. I agree. I agree. Uh, it's you know it's. Great seeing everyone that we, that we talk to on the on, you know on these shows every week, mm -hmm. and then you meet them and it's it like it, it makes it realistic. It makes it makes this more realistic because you actually get to put a, a name to a face, face to a name, and you feel like you know each other. You know you feel like you already know each other. So you know you got the guy. Oh man, he's cool. Oh, that guy's a dick. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be one of the <laughs> walk past I, the mirror. I, I gotta tell you, it's it's just it's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful seeing everyone there. I, I, uh, every year that I've gone, I've gone every year since since it happened, and it gets better and better each year. And mm -hmm. it's uh, it's just a hell of a great day. Mm -hmm. Yep, what's up, Will? Well done, him. I know you. How are you? Um, so, how many people showed up? Like, as far as like people that that you you know from 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 the the internet. Everybody, I, every everyone that was there, I knew. Uh, it's probably at least forty people. I would say that it was forty, at least forty people. Yeah. 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 There were some people I didn't know. I I, I didn't know everybody in the room. Well, I didn't know girl. I didn't know girlfriends and wives of people. Like so a few people brought, you know, their girlfriends or whatever. And I didn't. You don't know those people, but yeah, but there were a couple guys that I had seen online, but I couldn't put a face to a name, and we didn't like meet each other for some whatever reason, you know. So it's just like you get so engaged talking to somebody else, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go see this person. Like it just kind of. It's pretty chaotic because there's so many people in, in you know, in a, it's not a small room, but it's. You know, mm -hmm. it's not big either. It's pretty intimate. And especially when, when you have an amazing wet, dry, wet rig like Craig's rig that was there that yeah. sounded absolutely thunderous. Mm -hmm. um, 
just incredible. Uh, I have to say, his tone was awesome. Wow. I'd say, you know, the really high, the highlight of the show, or the you know, the EVH Con, um, is the amazing players that are there. There are some really sick players that you know you just sit back and go, man, you know, like there's yeah. some really talented people out there playing Van Halen. Uh, there was a 15 year old kid. I was just going to mention it. his name. His name is Johnny. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah his name is Johnny, uh, and I thought he was younger than that. 15 still. It's very young. Yeah. Yeah. He played his ass off. He played great. He went up there and played with a band unchained. Yeah. You yeah. Know, that's not easy to do for anybody, you know. And uh, I was impressed. I was and like, then he yeah. Played Eruption. Yeah, then he played. Then he played Eruption. He was doing like mixing in licks for Hot for the Teach, Hot for Teacher. I was like, yeah, you know, his dad was all, all like ear to ear smiles because <laughs> everybody was just like, oh, this kid's awesome, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I felt I felt good for his dad. You know, he was all pumped up. Yeah, and uh, it was fun. It was really cool to see that. Just to see like a lot of guys who are in uh, tribute bands, you know, getting up mm -hmm. there and really showing their stuff too. And uh, actually, Metal Hawks in the chat, that's them. That's him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's him right there. That's probably his pop, but that's him. Awesome. Very mm -hmm. cool. Hey, welcome. What's going on? <laughs> He's got a talented son. Yeah. It was cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Pete Testa played. He's awesome. Uh, Joe Girard played. Um uh, who else? Uh, Jimmy Vomvis, uh, Pete Karuch, Craig Stofko. Uh, I mean, these are all guys who really play the hell out of Van Halen, you know. So I gotta, I gotta give them all. It's, it's intimidating, actually. <laughs> Wait, kidding? I mean, I was gonna go up and play. Uh, I was gonna play uh, Runner with the Devil, and you know that that's the only that is the only. Uh, thing that I I was a little like ah oh, it's too bad because they didn't want to do they didn't want to do the same song twice and I thought that was kind of a little unfair because not everyone knows every Van Halen song but I'm sure other people wanted to go up and do do a song that they knew. So so what happened? So you after I played it you yeah I was gonna play I was gonna play that and then you played it and 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 that's fine fine and dandy uh. but uh, but the bass player was like. No, no one, no, we're not playing the same song twice. I'm like, that's wild. Dude, that's not, that's not fair. That's, that's the only thing that was just not right. But I, I, I agree with you. Was I, I was, I was not particularly uh, pleased because, you know, you know, I got up there and uh, I'm glad you brought it up. I, I, I wasn't really going to bring it up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I respect you for bringing it up. Um, well, yeah, I, I thought I bring up the good and the bad, you know. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uncool. It was uncool. I thought, you know, I got up there on, on stage. I wanted to play Feel Your Love tonight. Um, someone else had played it, and uh, you know, more power to them. That's awesome, you know. And uh, and then I was like, I said, All right, well, let's play that. And they're like, Well, we just played that five minutes ago. The bass player said, No repeats. <laughs> Like, and, uh, and and then they throw and I said okay well I wanted to play along and be a miss you know nice guy and you know and just not not be a dick you know so I was just like sure let's do out of love again and unfortunately the <laughs> singer didn't know the lyrics to that so which blo blows my mind because this guy is in a Van Halen tribute band not only is he in a Van Halen tribute band he's in a David Lee Roth version Van Halen tribute band and he doesn't know the words he just didn't want to sing it. That okay. had to, yeah, of course, because he's the same guy that's there every year doing Van Halen. That's interesting. And he's in, I believe he's he's Joe Suma's singer. Well, maybe he maybe he hadn't played it in a while. You know, I'll give him I'll give him that. I was like, all right, you know, that's cool. Uh, you know, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, all right, all right. You don't know that one. You know, I mean, I've been in enough band situations where people are like throwing out songs, and people are like, no, I don't know that one, or I don't know that one. So I was just like, okay. You know, I'll go. I'll just go along with the flow, and then, and then they started throwing songs at me. They're you know, like, they're like, uh, you know, Little Dreamer, and I'm like, uh, no, I'm like, I don't know it all the way, and you know, like, you know, so there's a bunch of songs that I know I can play the start of or the end of or the solo of or, you know, but I, I don't know the full song, and so I was like, all right, 
let's just do running with the devil. I just threw it out as a last ditch effort. And I had no idea, Dave, that you were going to do it. Um, <laughs> well, you, no, you guys, I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't a list or anything and I'm not upset about it. I'm yeah, just, yeah. You know, I was just like, Oh, it's too bad. You, know? you yeah. guys should have got up there and played it together. Mm. The two of you. That would have been cool. Yeah. You know, um, I know they wanted to, somebody wanted to do, um, uh, one way to rock. You know, that would have been cool too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was that was the only I'd say the only downside was 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 that. But I still got to play. I was happy I got to play, um, uh, even though I totally ate it. Uh, it. It's it's very intimidating to go up there and play in front of a lot of those guys because they're really really good. And even though they're all super sweet and two super nice dudes that I love hanging out with, um, there's just something about when they get up there and they start ripping it, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, you know there's I, a knack I, to that there is a knack i mean you can even you can be a great guitar player and know every every note that eddie van halen has played and be able to play it and but not sound like him and those guys a lot of those guys you listen to them and man it sounds like eddie van halen yes yeah. and it sounds like wow it sounds it's, they got the every new they got one it. they got it you know they really do have it and uh it's impressive. It really is. It's it's uh, you know as much as I said it's, it's intimidating. It's impre impressive. I love knowing those guys and and being able to hang out with them and learn stuff from them and all that stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Um, I even thought of like one idea, like maybe next year or one day down the road would be great if like during the con, like you know, well, some of these guys even did a class like downstairs because like downstairs at his shop, he has like different lesson rooms. Mm -hmm. How cool would it be like have a couple amps in there and and uh, different guys go in there and be like, all right, let's let's uh, let's work on, you know, the solo to you know, whatever, you know. I think that would yeah. be that would be fun, you know, like just mm -hmm. kind of learn off each other. It's it's a lot of fun. It was really really cool. And and also Joe Suma supplied food and drinks, yeah. and um, you got to hand it to the guy for doing that. Uh, that was really really nice. So he, Joe Suma has always been the most gracious host. Mm -hmm. He will give you like he, he'll give you the shirt off his back if you fit in it. He's he's amazing. Like I, I had said to him in the beginning, I'm like, you know, it's kind of loud in here. With no questions asked, he handed me and Desiree a set of earplugs. <laughs> no, no charge, no nothing. Here you go. Un, you know, unused earplugs, of course. Yeah. Uh, he, he's there for you. He will bend over backwards for you. Yeah, he's a good dude. Totally, totally. And, and sp special thanks to Craig for for his amplifier. How oh, cool yeah. was that? Oh, how, was how good did that thing sound? Amazing, amazing. The kid sounded killer. The, you know, look, the wet dry wet setup is always incredible. That head is killer. Um, I even said to Craig, I know he's going to be at Nam. I said you should. Go thank uh, James Brown. Go talk to him, you know, and tell him how much you love that head. Yeah. Because it sounded great. It really did. It's got tons of bottom end, really just, you know. Uh, it was almost almost hard to hear the bass player who was telling us no repeats. He almost didn't hear him. Yeah. Almost, <laughs> almost, didn't, almost didn't matter that he was there. Right. Almost it didn't really matter that he was there. It's true. The only, in fact, the only cool thing about that guy was the Kramer NS2 Spectre bass that he used. Left-handed. Left yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer. Um, so... <laughs> I mean, granted, he was really good. And if I was in a band with him, if 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 I was in a Van Halen cover band with him, it'd be awesome to have him in there. But as long as he didn't talk, mm -hmm. yeah. no repeats, though, man. <laughs> no repeats. No. Repeats. <laughs> we just played that song. I mean, you know, when you go to an open mic night, right? That's mm -hmm. pretty much. That's what it is. Was that was that kind of what it was like That's showing up to like an open mic where it's the same three guys on stage every weekend and you got to play by their rules? Is that kind of what it was like? Kind of. Well, yeah. and it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way, especially when the when the guy who runs the thing says you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that's that's true. Joe was very explicit in saying, "Yeah, you guys can play whatever you want. I don't care if it's repeats." Um, uh -huh. So yeah, it's it's. 
the that's the only, like I said that if you were to split hairs, I'd say at the end of the day that was the only thing. But it was fantastic. It was just great to see everybody. Um, some amazing guitars. I want to give a shout out to uh, Rob because Rob's guitar collection was killer. Your uh, Ibanez was awesome. I got oh, to see that. You. Got to see that in person. <laughs> uh, you know, Rob's this double, the double neck. Oh, that was the highlight. The double neck was everyone wanted pictures with the double neck. Yeah, and when jo and when Joe went up there and played Secrets with it, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's that was awesome. Yeah. That was cool. I saw a video. I saw a yeah. video of that. Thanks again to Rob. But did anybody get to play the, the yellow Ibanez? No. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I let people, I took it, you know, I let people play it, when, you know, when they said something to me. But no one wanted to use it live. They, you know, everyone had their own guitars. But yeah, I, I gave it, all, you know, everyone who wanted to play it, I, I let them use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody held it and, and stuff. Yeah, there were some great guitars. Scott Smith was there. Um, he brought a gorgeous purple. Uh, uh, yeah, is is Music Man? Yeah, yeah. The EDM. it was gorgeous. Um, nice. Adam from Fu Tone was there. Uh, he was doing tons of guitar upgrades and stuff like that. Jeez, um, mm -hmm. who else? I I, I want to say one thing about about uh, uh, the coolest thing that Adam has ever said to me uh, came the other day, and and he. Uh, you know, of course he works for Ed, and of course he has seen every one of Ed's guitars. And uh, he said that this guitar and Rob's guitar are the two closest replicas that he's ever seen to the original 5150. Mm. And that was that meant the world to me. That's like, awesome. You know, he was really impressed with – he's impressed with everyone, but he was like, man, those two look exactly like Ed's guitar. It was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. So, well, he knows. He's seen them. So, you know, uh, Chris Hubbard, wherever you are, uh, you, made, you made a good-looking guitar. Two of them. Yeah. And, you know, Nick, uh, the kid was there also. And um, yeah. he just recently did a guitar for Sean Christopher, right? Of yes. Pariah. And his was the best one I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That, that I have to say, that's like insane mm -hmm. insane yeah like almost almost like another it, it took it to another level but i think he spent like how, how many months did he spend on that he said nine months took him nine months to make that guitar and you know and hundreds and hundreds of hours relicking it but uh yeah he did a he did a 1986 version of the guitar and man Mm -hmm. It fooled it, it fooled me when I first saw it. The when I saw oh yeah 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 when I saw it where it was in the case and the, the, I thought it was I thought that was like someone had unearthed old photos of that guitar. I was like in, like oh my god, there's new photos of this thing. Mm -hmm. it wasn't it was a replica? Yeah, yeah look great, look great. If these these uh these guys have a lot of skill, that's 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 part about the whole thing, you know. Like there's so many guys with passion about. Everything about, you know, the whole Van Halen thing and everybody gets in a room and just geeks out about it, talks about it, goes outside, smokes a cigarette, talking about it, comes back in, has a beer, talking about it. You know, like, you know, by the end of the day, I will say I was like on my flight home. I'm like, what do I want to listen to? And it wasn't Van Halen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we didn't put the music on either. We, we had we had silence because our, our ears were ringing. Well, my ears, my ears are always ringing. Anyway, I was really just kidding, but um, it, it gets amplified. I've gone into, regardless of what I do, even if I wear ear protection, I still come out and have ringing in my ears. I, I just have damage in my my ears. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, it's not too bad. I can still hear, but who knows what it'll be when I'm seventy? But it is what it is. If I need a hearing aid, long live rock and roll, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. I'll just turn it up. <laughs> yeah, I've got the same thing. I've got this ear buzzes like you wouldn't believe. Nonstop. Yeah. What that thing in your hand is your ear? What? This, that this pen was your ear? That? Oh, whoops. It was. Mm. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I just have a high pitch squeal, basically. That... Yeah. When I sleep, I, I put TV on to have like kind of like dead 
like some noise, like some I don't know what you call it. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually get a you can get a white noise um, mm -hmm. sound machine. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> you want to hear this all night? <laughs> But no, that's that's what that that's what I have here actually. Oh, I've yeah? got it, and I turn it on, and it's, it's the sound of the ocean, of like ocean waves and stuff. And so that's what I listen to at night. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I, I, I you know I listen to TV. You know, sometimes it ends up being the Golden Girls, Lu Lucy <laughs> in the middle of the night. I'm like, what am I watching? <laughs> I like Lucy. I like Lucy I, too. You know. But you know, like uh, when Lucy's been on, uh, Ricky's little Ricky's crying, and he wakes me up in the middle. And I'm like, okay, it's time to turn off Lucy. <laughs> uh, I swear it's, that that has. I love Lucy. It's not I like Lucy. Right. It's right. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. I... I'm sorry. I don't particularly love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> My wife loves Lucy. All right. I love. <laughs> You you love Lucy? Okay, I do. I love I love Lucy. I really do. Yeah, no, I like the early ones. They're good. Yeah, the black and white ones were really good. Yeah, yeah. I used to watch that and God, Little Rascals. Mm -hmm. Did you watch Little Rascals and yeah. and the and the Three Stooges? I've got the Three Stooges box set. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I used to watch I Love Lucy, Mash, and then All in the Family. Oh yeah, it used to be you know that that. Uh, just like that on mm -hmm. like Channel Five, and that was that was all great. Yeah, and then I remember for me at some point it was Laverne and Shirley, and then Happy Days. Yeah, mm -hmm. that whole back to back, and there was like a third show. I can't remember whether maybe it was Mork and Mindy or whatever it was. Like in that, yeah, you know, no, happy, that was later because Mork and Mindy came from Happy Days. So uh, mm -hmm. anyway, <laughs> uh, back to EVH Con. Um, yeah. No, it was it was really cool. It was very cool. Great to see you, Dave. Um, you, you know, you look good. Um, yeah, it was. I look better this time than the last time because I was probably fifty pounds heavier last year and a lot less uh, healthy. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you definitely look good. Look better. I, you know. Um, so yeah, that was you know. Uh, Let's see. You know, the singer was really good. I want to say that too. Yeah, yeah, he was good. Yeah, you know, Pete the, Pete the drummer, most oh, yeah. valuable player. Yes, most valuable player because that man, he didn't stop, and he totally. was great. He he is a monster on the drums, man. He is awesome. He really is. He he didn't stop. Yeah, that was at one point. I looked over to somebody and I said, "Man, they've been playing for a really long time. I wonder if they're going to take a break soon." You know, like I would have been tired. Mm hmm. It was like they were going for an hour or so. He was so there was one drummer, one drummer, yeah. and one bass player, one bass player, and one singer the whole time, mm -hmm. and no repeats. Yeah, Pete and Pizzo. no repeats. <laughs> Pete Pizzo is the uh, is the drummer. Yes, Pete Pizzo. Bottoms up. That's the band. Bottoms up. Yeah, cool dude. That's cool. That's cool. So, how loud was it in there? Like, I know it, from what it looked like, Dave, you were sitting sitting right in front of that amp. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, it was loud. It, I, but I mean, not. It wasn't. It wasn't terribly loud. It was. It was loud, but it wasn't like you know, eh. when when the band started playing. I don't think that the overall sound was was too loud. Um, so, oh, I want to say hi to Jimmy Carr. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah, uh, Jimmy Carr. Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy Carr! <laughs> it's great to see him, too, man. Um, he said, I'm playing next year for sure. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, you know, it, like I said, it's intimidating, um, but it's it's a lot of fun. It actually inspired me to um, to get back out and play in front of people because I've been... Mm -hmm. That's good, I, man. Yeah, I, I've just been, you know, I feel like, like, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever listened to Howard Stern, but I listened to Howard Stern just the other day, and, um, or actually it was t today. I think. Never heard of him. No? <laughs> never heard of him? Uh, <laughs> do you still listen to him, though? No. no. 
I don't have that. What's it called? Cirrus? Cirrus. Yeah. Yeah. I that came with the car, you know, and then once yeah. that ran out, it's gone. Yeah. And then I got it for a road trip at one point. And um I haven't heard him. It's probably been uh a year oh, wow. since I've heard him, his new stuff, but yeah, so he had Sarah Silver Silverman on, you know, and she was talking about being a stand-up comedian and how if you don't do it constantly in front of an audience, you kind of lose it, you know, mm -hmm. like your delivery, you know, how how you, how you really, you know, can perform. And I I feel the same way. If you're not in front of if you don't play in front of people, you kind of lose that confidence of playing in front of people and um it's a lot different playing in your bedroom than playing in front of people. Cuz once those eyes are on you and people are like, "Ooh, you know, someone's playing, you know, it, it, change, it changes the ball game, you know, and you have to be, you got, you got to be ready for that, you know, yeah. and I want to be ready for it. I don't want to, I don't want to be like that where I'm, you know, so I'm kind of like, I want to, so I, I texted my two old bandmates. I said, Hey, you guys want to jam? And they were like, yeah, let's definitely play. I'm like, yes. You know, they didn't huh? abandon me even though I abandoned them. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I just felt like taking a break for a while. You know, I was just kind of like, I can't fit it in all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, but now I really want to. I really want to go back and do it because um, I miss doing it. Mm -hmm. No repeats, though. No. <laughs> Actually, no, you can repeat all you want. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Did anybody play anything but Van Halen there? It yeah. was all Van Halen. All oh, Van Halen. well, let's talk about. Did, did you hear about. What, did you hear this, Dave? When the kid. The, the, uh, at first, when the kid, Johnny wanted to play his dad asked if he can go up there and play um uh led zeppelin oh really yeah uh he wanted to play one a led zeppelin song i'm pretty sure and the guys were like really already you want to play a led zeppelin song i felt i felt that? what's that and what's wrong with that uh, yeah i was like dude I <laughs> yeah, without yeah. Led zeppelin there'd be no van halen yeah, he was like, "It's too early in the it's too early in the show to break out Led Zeppelin. Let's keep playing Van Halen." So I was like, "Ooh!" But then, then the kid was like, "Then they convinced the kid to go up there and play Unchained, and he killed it. Played it amazingly. Like, yeah, everyone's eyes opened wide open when he started that song. Yeah, I was like, "Wow!" And and Adam, I know Adam took video of it, and I he did. So yeah, yeah. Where that video went. I saw that definitely. I saw I saw that video of breakout. So I I'm sure someone's eyes saw that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that was cool. cool. It was a lot of yeah. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, you know, it's like five hours long, six hours long. Yeah, it was it was a good amount. I don't know that I'd be able to take much more of that, but yeah. uh, it was really it went fast. Again, even even with the bumps in the road, there were plenty of. I mean, it was just such a great time. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think there's always the uh, the element of a small room, PA, band playing. Whether you're going to get feedback, what's the most what's the most optimal setup to do that to minimize potential feedback? Uh, it happens even in the best studios where we're like, you know, like practice studios where I've been and where you know everything's set up for you to practice and you still get feedback and you're like, oh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so it just happens real quick. Yeah. I want to give a, I want to give a shout out to Michael James for, thank you so much, Michael, the nut on this guitar fits perfectly. Thank you very much. Michael James, uh, was selling it, uh, on, uh, I saw it on Instagram and, he, and I said, uh, how much is it? And he just sent it right out to me. Was that the one that was on your guitar when you were at the show? Yes, it was, and I had uh, I had I had a newer nut on here uh, the day before, mm -hmm. and because uh, that one looked like an original. This this is yeah this yeah. is an original yes yeah, an original nut. Uh, yeah, it fits perfectly. It's 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 great, and I wanted to thank him. Also, while I have a quick second, it was Ben Coombs asked, "Where's Jay?" Uh, and on behalf of everyone, we would like to wish Jay and his wife a happy anniversary because today is their anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary, you guys. Very cool. And he did the right thing by not being on here. Yeah. <laughs> that is for sure. 
smart man <laughs> smart man yeah um is he out to dinner i think so i think they went out to dinner yeah yeah cool um yeah so th there were some impressive uh but just like the you know like the song selection somebody did dirty dirty movies yeah uh, you know which was cool um uh, little guitars uh, Joe Girard broke out a little Les Paul, striped Les Paul, mm -hmm. and played little guitars, which sounded great. Um, like I said, that Joe Sumo. Cool. Yeah, Joe Sumo played Secrets with that guitar when he when he was doing with the twelve string, you know, the rhythm, and then when he went to the solo on the six, you know, six string neck. Oh, I was yeah, like, it's amazing. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was so. I, you know, everybody was like, yes, you know, because it worked. He flipped the switch, and you know. Because it's a confusing guitar. I mean, each switch is like he had to get instructions before he played it. Yep. <laughs> and Craig, I'm getting to that. Hang on, Craig. What's that? Uh, all right, real quick. Craig made me this amazing drill. Oh, yes. And the uh, he also uh, striped the charger for me. So the drill, the drill, and the charger are both striped. How cool but is that? I don't have a battery yet. The batteries I had I, I ordered two batteries yesterday and they'll be here tomorrow. Is so that new or is that this, this is a used? Well, it's I mean they don't make this drill anymore. Mm -hmm. This is it's the actual drill that Eddie used, which is the model. The model is the uh six the sixty twelve HD Makita. Mm -hmm. Makita sixty twelve. That's the one that Eddie actually used. Mm. And uh Craig was gracious, gracious enough to make this for me. It was amazing. Very nice. Thank you so much, Craig. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was. It was like Craig Con. Yeah. It wasn't EVH Con. It was Craig Con. <laughs> now give, I'm, give, I'm me a second, give me a second. I'll show you the. Uh, I have the other part. I'm busting his balls. Just as cool. The. Uh, he striped that's it. So, that's so cool. That's yeah. awesome. He's a talented man. Yeah, he knows, he knows what he's doing. Uh, my blue guitar I brought to the show. Did you get to see that, Dave? I did. I loved it. That neck is a, it's gorgeous. Thanks, the neck man. On that guitar is ridiculous. Yeah, we. Uh, I looked at it. I looked close up to it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Okay. Oh yeah, I had to see it. I mean, because I only when saw I the saw body. it before it was shipped to you, I had the body in my hand. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was like, man, that's beautiful. And because of you, because of that, is the reason why I had my green one done. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. That's right. Yeah, the green one came out awesome too. I like it. The green with the gold hardware. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Yeah, I Good. love it. I just wish it wasn't as heavy as it is. It's super duper heavy. Really? Yeah. It was heavy before, though. I'm sure, right? Yeah, say, oh yeah. No, it's not Craig's fault. Yeah. I'd like to blame him, but it's. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Send it back. Yeah. You're like it's too heavy. Yeah, like, you made it too heavy. All the <laughs> flake in it. What's wrong with you? Take the flake out. That's awesome. He finished it like 300 times. <laughs> well, I will tell you, flake does add weight to some. Yeah, but I, no, no, I was that guitar was always heavy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, I really, quite honestly, the uh, the blue guitar is one of the lighter guitars that I have. It's mm. not that particularly heavy. And that roasted neck is a little bit lighter also because even though it's a fat neck, it's roasted and it I think it, you know, the water weight, it's definitely a lighter. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the flame on that guitar on that neck is just out of hand. Yeah. Anybody wants to get parts, definitely, you know, or get a neck from Music Craft, especially lefties. You know, if anybody any lefties out there you want to build a guitar, get your your neck at Music Craft. It's he, Scott Smith makes a great product. Mm -hmm. And so does Craig. Go to CHS, CHS Customs, right? Yep. CHS Custom Guitars. There you go. Right. And he'll, I mean, I, I've, uh, I'm not crazy about scalloped fretboards. Oh, yeah. Um, but Craig did this, this guitar for Rob Johnson. He turned a Mexican Strat into a, an Ingve Malmsteen Strat. And it looks great. And that was awesome. Unbelievable! Beautiful. Yeah, the the, the, the the scalloping is great. The scalloping is just ridiculous. How good it is! Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't know that. That's not.
from the factory. At least I couldn't tell. Yeah. I don't I don't know jack about it, but just looking at well, it, I was like the cool thing is it's not as scalloped as a factory fender one. Hmm. It makes it, as far as I'm concerned, a little easier to play. You don't bend really out of tune, but it looks like it was done in a factory. Right, it right, right. Look like it was done with you know with a chisel and a butter knife. It's really uh, like like he's been doing it for uh, you know fifty years. It looks like uh, the way it, it should look. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the paint color, the match of the paint color for um, you know the Ingve Strat was re really dead oh, on. Yeah. yeah, it looked great. Yeah, it really looked good. Yeah. It looked like a brand new old guitar. Yeah, and Rob actually got up and played. Uh, he did "Ain't Talking About Love." He killed he it. Did a great job. He Rob killed it. it. It sounded like Van awesome. Halen. Yep, he it did a great, great job. Really did good. Um, yeah, it was, it was killer. Oh, you know who also was there? Uh, Susan, I think Pasquale is her name. Yes, she gave me this comic book. Uh huh. Yeah, I got one too. Oh, yeah. super cool. I don't know where she got so many copies of them. I didn't realize that they were so readily available because I mean they. They came out in like the '90s, right? Mm -hmm. And you're a comic guy. That's yeah, that's like big time for you. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't already have it, but it, it's awesome. It's killer. So it's definitely going in the uh, in the yeah. vault. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. What else? Uh, we would we would discuss. Oh, you know what? I want to bring this up to you, Mark. What's that? Before before the uh, before the EVH con. Uh, me and Joe were discussing doing some sort of raffle for one of his, for one of the uh, Wolfgangs, which didn't happen. It was just too too late to 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 get it together. But right, uh, we I was thinking a ten dollar you know everyone throw in ten dollars to do like a fifty fifty. It would pay off the guitar, and someone would get a guitar. You know, of course. But uh, almost no, I mean, almost no what I'm saying is you'd throw in 10 bucks, right? Of course. I certainly would. I think everyone there would. So maybe next year we'll do a raffle. I think I think uh, maybe we'll do a raffle. Not not that I'm trying to make, you know, decisions for Joe, but I think I think it's a good idea. Well, well you know, think, the other thing it kind of incurred. Here's the, the good thing about raffles. It keeps people engaged till the end. Yeah. So you don't <laughs> keeps everybody there. It keeps everybody there, you know. So once everybody's there, there a lot of people aren't going to want to leave. They're going to want to wait till the end to hear the raffle called and see if they went. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's only fair that that it you know ten bucks at least because I mean this guy he had to have laid out at least three hundred dollars for the pizza and the sodas at least, and that's oh, yeah. that's just that. Not even opening the store and the and the. You know, the turning on the lights for the whole day, using all of his electricity and the manpower. He had two people working there too. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot well, of money out of his pocket for a day that's not really making him any money. Agreed. Uh, you, you know, most people are going to go shopping. They're going to walk by and go, "Whoa!" <laughs> check yeah. out. The, either you're going to walk in and be like, "Check out the band," because I, I definitely saw um, some people walking in just li listening to the band that were kind of like walk-ins they had no idea what was going on that day yeah i had yeah somebody actually asked me as I, as I was coming out they're like what is this i said it's the edh con they're like oh oh wait wait, hang on i'm gonna post this on facebook tell me that again <laughs> so funny yeah it was cool <laughs> so it was cold man yeah it's freezing out yeah like why and it was supposed to rain thank god it didn't oh yeah that's good it it didn't. yeah the rain, the rain. I think the rain came the next day. Mm -hmm. mm. Bam. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. A raffle, a raffle would be cool. Although Craig says the raffle is the last thing. Yeah, that would be the last thing to do. We shouldn't, you know. No oh one, yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't raffle it off until until everyone's ready to leave. Right. That's typically how a raffle's done anyway. You know, you wait till the end of the night and. Everybody's like, okay, gather around, kind of like what we did with our pictures, you know. Yeah, I do feel bad for Craig though, because I mean, he had he had that all that gear to break down by himself and put back in his car. Oh, was, we helped him a little bit. Oh, you did? Yeah, we helped him a little bit, but he he was definitely, you know, 
the first cabinet on the way out, I was like, dude, let me help you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, he got a little bit of help. That's good. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, look, it's it, the, the store is dirty afterward. I give, you know, I give Joe a lot of credit, you know, for doing it. So it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, the only thing that would be amazing, like I said, is somehow to get Ed to even just do like an iPad show up for like two minutes. Be like, guys, I just wanted to thank you for, you know, and we thank him. And then he says goodbye and goes on his merry way. Right. That would be very cool. I'd be sick. I would do it. I'd even pay for that. I'd donate to the charity, you know, mm -hmm. just have that opportunity it would be cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. I, yeah, because I'm a total freak. <laughs> we all are. Yeah. yeah, we all are. Uh, Carlos. So, what did uh, Carlos get? Let did me tell Carlos you, something? Carlos, Carlos also is like one of the most, I will yeah. say, mo, uh, like a most valuable player because he took a, 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 a train, a plane, mm -hmm. a car, a <laughs> He had, he had, he went on bicycle. a bicycle. He did everything he could to get to that place. And I mean, if I had to do what he had to do, I would have stayed home. But he, yeah, got he there. was, he got there. He, he, man, most valuable, most valuable right there. That's yeah. No, he, he, and he was a really cool dude. And, um, and then he left. He was lugging back a PV6505 mini head. Mm hmm. With him and his guitar, yeah. And then he had to he had to walk across town after getting off a plane and a train and a bike. <laughs> and, all that stuff. and he had to walk. I, you know, I laugh. You laugh, but it's the truth. He really had to like walk across his whole town to get back home with all that crap in his head. Yeah, he 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 definitely he made a lot of effort to get there. So it was cool. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, even Howie just peeked up his head. He was like, Carlos, good job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it would have been nice if you were there, Johnny. It would have been yeah. very cool. Well, I said, Johnny's got to get on a plane next year. And then a train and then a car. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. I'll exactly. have to pay 10 bucks for a guitar that Dave will probably win anyway. You know, <laughs> well, I'm going to win the Mega Millions. I'll tell you that I'm I'm winning Mega Millions. Wait a second, I got my car. I got my tickets. I I'm just, winning. I just got my ticket like a half hour before the show. Really? I gotta win it. I um I, I already called my boss and said I'm not going to be there tomorrow. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really hoping that works out. Yeah. Because <laughs> you already called him. <laughs> yeah, I already called him. That's what I'm saying. I already called him. So I'm really hoping the odds are it's going to work. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, Soda oh, Pop wait. says I look 16. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, we got some. We got some uh, uh, EVH bottle openers from from John Storms. Totally. Yeah, those were cool too. Mm -hmm. I, someone stuffed someone stuffed these in my pocket. I don't know if you can see. This this guy did it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, he, oh, and Craig played uh, Judgment Day with Pete Karuch on drums. Yeah, did you, see, well, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. And Pete's, you know, Pete's a great drummer. Who knew? Pete's Pete's a great drummer. He gets up there and just rips it on the drums, <laughs> and uh, I think Craig's just ripping it on Judgment Day. Didn't yeah. matter. There was no bass player there. Nope. Oh, and how about Pete playing Fire on Fire? Yes. I, when's the last? I've never even. I haven't even heard Van Halen do it, and he played it. Just it like he pulled it right out of his rear end, and the song sounded so good. Every every part sounded amazing. Yeah. These guys are talented, man. They're, they're really really great players, and um, you know it's 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 just great to see. It's great, a lot of fun. You know, it'd be great to get like a couple other guys who are also well known in the Van Halen circle. You know, like like Mike Himmel and like uh, I tried to get in there. I called him. I spoke to him personally. He's uh, he's just not he's not available yet. Oh yeah, 
he, but he's working on it. Well, yeah. That's cool. That'd be cool for you know for next year. Um, and uh, who else? Uh, like Doug Steele. Mm -hmm. He'd have to come from Australia, but <laughs> yeah, and pay yeah. ten dollars and pay ten dollars, <laughs> whatever that is in Australian money. <laughs> Well, if he know. has to come from Australia, just give him the guitar. You know? Well, that would be impressive. <laughs> yeah. By the way, speaking of Ingwe, Ingve before, uh, just to change the subject real quick, did anybody see that video footage, footage of him playing um, in Fort Lauderdale the other day where he he was basically smashing a guitar? It no. Was, oh, really? At the very end of the show, he took like I, – so I, I someone said it was a squire, basically. And he kept just kept throwing it up on the in the air and smashing it, and he finally like broke it into pieces. And it was must have been a good show. My oh. uh, my well, my mailman told me he went to see it and said it was great. But of course, <laughs> the fu the funny thing is, it's all Ingve's you know amps on the stage, and then the bands in the corner. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! It's That's the funniest uh, it's thing. Been like that. It's been like that for a long time. Uh, I think there's there's like twenty four or twenty six or even more, maybe more maybe heads, heads, heads yeah. and cabinets. Can yeah, you yeah. His roadie crew, man. And he treats his tech pretty awful. Well, let, let's be honest. He's not the particularly most ni the nicest guy. Let's. No, I have a I have a Ingve story. Uh, oh, I do too. <laughs> you yeah. gonna tell yours? I could tell it. Uh, this this happened when I worked at Manny's Music back in I want to say ninety six or ninety seven. Uh, if it, if you've ever been to Manny's Music, oh, you walk in. You walk in and you you walk into the guitar department. The guitars are on the walls on the right hand side, and then there's this counter with all the pedals that, as you come in in the middle. And uh, usually a couple salesmen could be in there answering phones and, and doing their thing, and there's computers there for to do deals. So I'm on the phone with, with uh, uh, a, a Japanese customer of mine from Japan. And the guy's ordering like 20 music man bases at the time. And that's, that's a big order. Substantial. And this guy walks in and he says, excuse me, can you help me? And I, and I look up and I said, yes, just give me one second. I'll be right with you. I'm, I'm taking a phone order. And um, less than a minute later, he pokes me in the chest, like, really hard. Can you help me? Do you know who I am? And I said, yeah, I know exactly who you are. And now you can have someone else help you. <laughs> and it was Ingrid Mamston. He's a tool. Yeah. He really is. Uh, he's not a particularly nice, nice person. So um, why am I saying particularly? He's not a nice person. Uh, <laughs> my my cousin represented him at, at one point um, that I, you know, and I just heard some stories, man. It was just, I think his father-in-law is his manager. Hmm. Uh, you know, so you can only imagine. Yeah. yeah. Not not good. Not good. But the guy can play. That's oh, yeah. Sure. He's absolutely one of the best guitar players on the planet. I'll give him that. Oh, he's insane. Uh, insane guitar player. But as far as a human being, yeah, mm -hmm. not so much. When he, I, I love when he just – he'll he'll do it down because he's down here in Florida. He will show up to a particular – you know, to any particular uh, guitar center or Sam Ash – um, in his Ferrari, dressed as Ingve, mm -hmm. uh, just to get people to be like, "Oh, there's Ingve," you know. And um, he does it all the time, all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Ed would do that. Dressed in the parachute pants with the wife beater. <laughs> dressed in in the uh, live without a net uniform. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take, yeah. As long as it's not 2004, Ed, we're all good. Right. You know. Um, yeah, I would take live without a net. I think that would be great. 
if he wants <laughs> to walk to a place like that. Oh, man. With, uh, with the white Reeboks on. White Reebok sneakers. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, the parachute pants where they're kind of sticking. Oh, yeah. that, I'm totally picturing the whole outfit. That's great. Yeah. That would be fantastic. So I posted a live video at one point when like the band first went on. And one of the guys that follows, you know, f we're friends with on Facebook, he's like, immediately jumps in and says, okay, now I have to judge every guitar player that, that's playing. <laughs> and I'm like, great. And then um, I see these comments coming up live as I'm like, you know, holding my phone, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh no, you know, and I can't even respond because I'm just recording it. And then uh, he's like, the singer's wearing flip-flops and socks. What the hell is up with that? And I'm like, oh my God, come on, dude, who cares? Really? It's and no Sammy Hagar songs? Sunday. Right. I'm like, who cares? Like everybody's just hanging out. It's a, it's just a totally relaxed scene. And this, this guy's just making, ripping on these comments. And I'm just like, come on, man. Do you unfriend yeah. him afterwards? What's that? Did I unfriend him? No, no. But I actually, he posted a vid. <laughs> he posted a video this morning of him playing, and I wrote, "Oh, great! Now I'm going to watch this and nitpick you too." <laughs> so, yeah, we should all. And he wrote me back and he said, he goes, well, if you're going to do it, he goes, do it with your arms crossed. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. But um, I don't know. Everybody's everybody's a critic. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is. And people are not like that at the con. Like, No, it was. it's all camaraderie. It's, yeah, no one's like, I want to see this guy play. You know, no one's no one's like that. It's too super cool. Like even when I went into my solo, Craig jumped up and uh, threw on the the phaser. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. He was doing that for a lot of people. For a lot of yeah, people. yeah. He's jumping up and down. You know, because uh, you know he, people didn't know. Kind of you know everybody knows their own board, right? You know, if you don't really feel your board when you use somebody else's board, at least for me, I was kind of like, uh, what am I clicking on here? So. <laughs> Especially, I, I never, I never work on, I never uh, play on a, a, a board that has a switcher, you know, like a looper switcher or whatever. Yeah. So you're always hitting pedals. I'm always hitting pedals. Yeah. Do you have a switcher? Yeah. You think it's much better? I think it. What it does is it, it makes it so you don't have to do a less of a dance, and it also saves the the switches on your pedals. That's yeah. that's basically it. Doesn't do anything for sound, but it just allows you to not break your pedals. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I can see that. Yep. I just always pack my pedal boards so so much I don't have room for a switch. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at it now, it's on the floor right there. And uh, it just, it takes a little time, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's you know once you have it done, you know if you had it done, you'd be like, oh, I don't know why I didn't do this all the time. You, you, once you once you do it, but until then, I can understand how you'd be like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. But if right. once you have it done, it's like, oh wow, I don't know why I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, and the other yeah. thing that I really liked about uh, Craig's rig and the sound was the detuned. Oh yeah. That sounded awesome, and I'm gonna get that. I, I need to either set that up in my um, my H9 Eventide, figure out how to do that, or if I can't get it, I'm just gonna get that Boss. There's a Boss uh, pedal that Pete told me to get. I forget the name of it. Hmm. You, know, you know the name of it? The the Boss pedal that does the detune. No. Someone will write it in the chat. Um, but what can what I think one H nine can do it right? I would think it would. I think I would imagine I can get pretty close. I just have to figure out the uh, the right settings. Look it up. I think it's plus eight, negative eight. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's what Craig's is. Plus eight on one side, negative eight on the other. When they, when you say that plus eight, negative eight, is that that's not left and right, is it? Yeah. Plus eight on, on on one side, I guess on the left side. Craig is in here. He'll tell you right now. Craig, why don't you tell us? So it's, yeah. Okay. So he's running it in stereo? 
and Craig's got uh, it's the PS6. Oh yeah, I have a PS6, and that's got a D2 in it. But yeah, uh, Craig, what's what what are the numbers you told me? Does does Craig want to jump in real quick? Ask him. Yeah, I guess you just did. I just did. I got to take Howie out again and tuck my chickens real quick. Craig, why don't you come in and 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 uh, let's talk about your rig. Give yeah. us a rig rundown. Negative eight, negative eight on the left and positive eight on the right. Can you come in, Craig? Give us a rig rundown. I'll send him a thing just in case. Talk about your biz. There you go. Yeah, I have mine going too right now. Yeah, I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. PS6, done. Very nice. Yeah, it's cool. I just don't like doing it in front of people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, could play Van, I could play Van Halen all day, but I just don't want to do it in front of people. Unless it's a blues song. You want me to play the blues, I'll do that all day. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's intimidating, but I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to do it because I, I, I know I can. Um, so I just need to get over I just need to get over that feeling yeah. at least for me it's just like uh, maybe because uh, but you used to play you used to play out all the time too you know? yeah but so. i didn't play van halen songs i played you know, yeah i played classic blues rock gigs. yeah classic rock and blues gigs you know that that's yeah. not hard to do you know but uh again was, I've, been, I've been out of the game now for about two years i haven't i haven't done a gig in almost two years yeah yeah i'm i'm, I'm about in the same boat i haven't done a gig in about two years uh, I'm out of the game. I'm rusty. I'm a bedroom player now, and it feels like it's like wow, man. I I uh, I I got to get back in the game. So I want to try it at least. So you know, I, here, here, here's the, here's the other thing that inspired me. The night before the con, I went to a place, an amazing. If anybody's ever in Norwalk, Connecticut, uh, which I think that's where it was, it was a place called Bobby Q's. Oh yeah. Uh, amazing barbecue, and there was a dead cover band playing there, mm -hmm. and uh, named Shakedown, cool band, and the 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 main guitar player who was like the Jerry guy was literally he looked like he was seventy years old. That's like amazing. I was, yeah, like white hair, long white long hair, you know, really like he looked like he could have been Santa Claus or you know like, but he just wasn't heavy. Mm -hmm. oh, here's Craig. You know. Hey now. What's up? What's up, guys? How are you? How you doing? Good. Good. Just trying to get comfortable here. You all right. <laughs> nice. So uh, tomorrow I'll be able to do that. <laughs> oh oh yeah. yeah, you got batteries coming. Yeah. So tell us, uh, Craig, about your rig. Cool. Um. Well, what do you want to know? Are you talking about the pedal board, uh, Mark? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the effects that you were using, how you were setting it up, you know. Well, that's the board right there. I, can, are you seeing this okay? Yeah. Um, I, it's, it's a little dark in my living room. The kids are laying down. But, um, yeah, I, I'm using a switcher. Wait, where's my camera over here? God damn it. I'm, I'm using a switcher for everything like... Uh, Somebody was saying it's less dancing around and it saves the buttons on the actual pedals. Mm -hmm. uh, also, what it does is when you turn off a switcher, when you actually turn it off, it bypasses the box. So the signal doesn't go back th around through the box. Mm -hmm. It makes the signal chain shorter. It's, so it's, it's supposed to like shorten up. It's like having a shorter cable. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't notice the fact... I don't notice the difference in sound with or without it, but I like it because it's just cool. That's all. And, and I got everything marked here. Like the phaser would be red. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Chorus would be blue. I'm getting a white for the flanger and a brown for the uh, octave. But yeah, that's it. I mean, it's 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 just a basic board. Really. So, are you using the PS6 for your detune? No, man. I'm using. Um, I'll fire it up right now so it lights up. You can see it. Uh, can I can I flip this camera? 
Maybe, am I able to flip this camera? I don't know. Is it an iPhone? Yeah, I'm able to yeah. flip it, right, Dave? Yeah, you can. It's the it's the little thing that looks like a camera on it. There you go. If I turn it sideways, it probably looks better. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, that's it. There you go. Okay, so, uh, well, that's my mixer I use at home. But um, what are we using? We're using the, uh, all right, I'm getting it now. All right, guys, bear with me. I'm using the uh, Lexicon MPX G2. This thing's almost... It's almost 30 years old now, hmm. and uh, I've had it since brand new since back then. And that's what I use for my detune, and it's all programmable. And I only use it – I use it for the effect, the, de the detune effect, and I use it for that little slapback delay left and right. And um, I worked on it for quite some time. I believe I pretty much nailed the um, Cardinal Knowledge album sound. That's what I really wanted. Mm -hmm. which to me is real close to ba uh to a balance album mm -hmm. uh, you know you would you agree on, on that dave yeah it's it's a little less chorus but yeah it's the same sound right and i wanted the carnal knowledge sound you know every, you know everybody else is covering all the other different tones and i wanted to be able to hit a switch and go right to the classic evh p tester wanted that classic evh sound and uh i wasn't ready for it actually you know because everybody was wanted the D2 sound and uh, I, I quickly had to uh, think of something and, and jump and hit a couple of switches. And I was able to get close to the mm -hmm. Van Halen classic sound, but I still had a lot of bottom end. Uh, if you know, guys, the early EVH was a lot of mid range, mm -hmm. yeah. a lot less bass. My rig was, I mean, I had, I felt I had more bass than the actual bass player. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did have more bass than the bass player. That's, that's for sure. And more but personality, I had... too. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of Fireball. Where's my Fireball, by the way? So, hey, question, uh, question for you, um, Craig. The, yeah. uh, the lexicon that you're running there, are you running that in stereo? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, okay. So, so you, it's negative eight on one, on one end and positive eight, as, as uh, Dave said? I got, I got negative eight on the left. Uh and I, um, it, this power amp it is PV power amp. This only powers the left and right. Right. And the lexicon only runs the left and right. The dry signal is the center channel, which is my straight cabinet. That's that was mic'd up. This is the mic that we had for the monitors. That, uh, but um, left and right. Right now, I'm, I'm running this top cabinet in stereo here in my living room. I don't have the three cabinets going, but it sounds it still sounds very good. But the head runs everything, but it, it runs the dry cabinet straight in. But I have a Bray box right. behind this. That's what I have. That's what I'll use. So you, I'm actually using the tone of the amplifier to go through the power amp to, to go left and right. So there's nothing artificial. When you hear all three cabinets, you're actually hearing the 5152's tone. Nothing's lost. Oh, it sounded amazing. It really did. It sounded fantastic. Yeah. Can I show you I flipped this back? What am I doing here? Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, it was worth it to me, man. I just uh, I wanted to I wanted to, you know, display it and show it off, if you will. Um, I think a lot of people forgot. The 5152, the PV amplifiers, every, everybody's into the EVH, EVH. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me see if I can make a little impression with this and remind people that the uh, PV is still an ass kicker. Yeah, it sounded great. Yeah. And, you know, uh, kudos to you for bringing it because that's a lot of work. You, you, you really yeah, made a lot, a lot of people's day. And it made my day. That's what makes it worth it, Dave. I, I really didn't mind at all. Uh, I was just the thing I was worried about is uh, I had anxiety over um, if the amp was going to survive it or not. Oh, because really? I bought it brand well because I bought it brand new in 2000, and that's how many years later, and I've been beating the living crap out of it. You know, I, I put it away. It actually you, sat. You I put it away it, for like, no, I did not retube it. Oh, really? So you've left you've left the power tubes. Okay. I I talked about retubing it. That's right. That's right. We I, said if it sounds good, leave it. Leave. It. I have brand new groove tubes for it. I mm. never put them in. Uh, the amp, it's untouched. It's bone stock, and so are the cabinets. Man, that's it. 
So why why again were you selling the uh, the Cavs? You said you wanted oh less space or well um I, I'm kind of a overkill guy, you know. Um, if you haven't figured that out yet, I, I try <laughs> to go overboard. Aren't we all? <laughs> well, I don't. I don't try. I do go overboard on everything. Mm-hmm. So um, I want three matching straight cabinets for the look, and also uh, uh, Dave can probably you you guys can tell you know, attest to this that uh, the the straight cabinets will move more air than a slant cab. There's, there's Absolutely. Like, there's, yes. Absolutely. There's more yeah, tone. That's, that's, did that's, I mean? Do I really wow. need to move air? I mean, I'm moving plenty of air, man. But no, but it's always more. nice. I know, I know what you're saying. It's mm-hmm. nice to have the right looking stuff. I mean, it's it's not just about the sound. You wanna you want it to look good too. There's Agreed. nothing wrong with saying that. And if you have the dough to do it, why not do it? If you have the room to do it, then you have the dough to do it. <laughs> but um, the. Actually, uh, I'll tell you a little secret. I don't know. No one noticed it or no one even told me, but that the left channel, the left channel was a crate cabinet that was given to me uh, by a friend. A crate uh, cabinet? It's a stereo. It's a crate cabinet. It's what's right here right now. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm less impressed. It's what- All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I noticed I noticed you only had two PV cabinets, and the old, other one was another cabinet. I wonder what the third one was. But it, it didn't yeah. make a difference to me. I mean, it, you, you, you just brought a, a wet, dry, wet system. For yeah, it sounds, sounds yeah. awesome. Who cares? Who, who would know? Who would know? No well, one. no, no one. I, obviously, uh, no one knew. Uh, because here in my living room, I mean, I got a, it's a pretty big living room, but it's my living room, man. It's, it's my free, I got a guitar hanging on the ceiling. I'm finishing up. Um, <laughs> Your wife's just as tolerant as me, as my, as mine, you know, my, my wife puts up with tons of stuff, man, you know, and uh, God and bless him. Yeah. God well, bless I do him. too. Don't, don't think it, you know, it goes both ways, buddy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, um, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Being be, being that I'm sure, I mean, I could put three cabinets straight across my living. Oh, but the internet's going. No, can you hear me? My yeah, can, where yeah. I go? You're, okay, now we can hear you. Am I back? You're sort of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your internet. Yeah. Good. There you are. Okay, so um, I'm just short on space. So rather than go wide. I just went up. So I used a stereo cabinet for my left and right, and I used the bottom one for my dry. Sounds great here in the house, uh, but not like you did a con. A con, it was, uh, I was surprised actually how it sounded a lot better at con. It really is a lot more frequency, a lot of lows, and a lot. Actually, I had all the frequencies going, I felt, Dave. Would you agree? I mean, they were all there. It wasn't ear piercing like a Ted Nugent concert. No, yeah. it was warm. As even yeah. as loud as it was, it was still warm. It didn't pierce your ears. It wasn't like, I, if anything, if anything, it was you know just some of the screeching from the PA that sometimes got like, oh, yeah, that was that was annoying. Yeah, yeah. that that was more of the problem than anything. Um, but yeah, you're, it's very warm sounding. Uh, I got to say, you know, don't don't t- change a thing on that amp. Just leave it alone until it yeah it blows up until it yeah. blows up. Yeah, and, and peak. Pete Crouch says, blah, blah, blah. It's a PV, you know, in his voice. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Pete what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> uh, uh, what I want to know is what you what you were thinking when you saw the picture of Rob Johnson kissing me on the cheek. That's what I want to know. Oh uh, call him out uh, on that. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't want to get thrown off this show. Anyway. Um, <laughs> That's great, man. That's yeah, freaking it's great. Wonderful. But um, but it's, awesome. it's quite possible. We're we're talking. Uh, we're talking maybe next year. Pete, uh, both actually Mark and Dave both know his PA system with the subwoofers, left and right channels, and stereo mixing. We might be able to mix everything up and run everything through his PA. Yeah, the right think, way. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. But, but this year, next year, have the PA speakers in front of the band and not behind the microphones. Correct, absolutely, yes. and I and I won't even have to have the amp. I'll bring my rig, and we'll what we'll wire it up in wet, dry, wet, and we'll have it in stereo, which will sound ridiculous. But I won't have to even push it. I can I can leave the amp a lot, lot lower, and even put the cabinets in the back somewhere. The cabinets don't have to be out in front. 
Yeah, they can no, move. The, they can probably move the riser a little up front. You know, look, we're all second second day quarterbacks. It's it's really hard to uh, get that yeah. whole thing set up. You know, whatever that saying is about being a uh, whatever backseat driver, whatever whatever the hell. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? But um, uh, you know, it's it's not easy to get that all perfect. But yeah, I mean, if just a couple tweaks, I think it's the sound might be better. Mm-hmm. And you know, twenty. Yeah, I think. I, I think I may have overpowered the place a little bit. Um, no, I mean, I, I think when the band was playing, it, it, if those cabs were behind, I think if the cabs were behind the band and the PA were up front, if, if there was a way to do that, then I think it would have uh, changed the dynamic of how everything sounded. Mm-hmm. Uh, Agreed. You know, but, um, but even still, it's, you know, it was like, it was almost... Awesome. It was even more. It, 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 was, it was even better because you had these three cabinets just like right there in your face when the band's playing, and it's like, it's like screw the band. It's, it was almost like the Ingve thing. It's like screw the band. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, you know what we could do next year it's too true, if you man. don't want to. If, if you don't want to bring <laughs> like, screw the band. We're like, we want these cabinets right up front. If you don't uh, want to bring all that power, <laughs> if, if you don't want to bring all that power next year, oh, we can use your head and your and your switching system. And I can bring three ABH 212s. This way, at least it'll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 212s would be easier. That's that's cool, man. But I was actually, I may be bringing four, four by 12 cabinets. Too dry. Four? Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not done with this. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's just a four. tip of the ice. How do you, how do, you do four? Why don't we? <laughs> well, because, because I can have two, uh, I can get another PV cabinet. And fill it with some uh, greenbacks, and and have those two, uh, the Sheffields and the greenbacks running dry, and then have my, you know, it'd only be 120 inches wide, but think how cool it would look and sound. Oh, it'd be insane! You know, do you it. gave me that idea, uh, Mark, uh, months ago. You were like, "Hey, if you're going to do four cabinets, why don't you use them, put greenbacks in one cabinet?" And oh, I didn't it. know you were talking. I don't know if I, I knew you were talking about four cabinets. I, I thought you were going to replace one of the cabinets and get a get you... No, man. Adding. Just add. I don't, uh-huh. I don't subtract. I keep adding. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. By, yeah. by next year, you can invite Ingve to poke people in the chest, too. Uh, he's a big D. I, I, hung, uh, I hung out with him shortly. I met him twice and had the opportunity to hang out in the VIP room, and I turned it down at the Chance's last go around when he was here. I was there for sound check, and uh, he was really nasty to the sound guy. And he was calling the Chance of POS. The place sucks, and he was playing so loud, and, and he was using the gate, and it was clipping. And he was using this wireless, and it just kept clipping and getting interference. And he had a wall of marshals, literally a wall, like you know it, a wall of marshals, but only two cabinets and two marshals were being used in stereo. All the other cabinets, uh, all the other uh, were empty. Scenery, yeah. It was all for looks. It was all for show, yeah. Yeah, but he was loud as F. I mean, he was just like, too loud it was stupid loud and it, it was ear pier it wasn't warm you know like i thought my rig sounded it's like it's loud but you can sit in front of it and, and it doesn't it doesn't kill your ears at least mm-hmm. not for me it didn't you know but anyway it was just like very ear piercing and screechy that night it was it was and the way he was treating his guys was really bad man that's uncool it's uncool and shut i could have hung out with him huh shut up <laughs> Yeah, he I'm talks just, too I'm much. Just, I don't have any Ingve stories, you know. Oh my God, look at you, Johnny! Un- underneath that uh, that hair, you're actually not a bad looking guy. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, man. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> it, it doesn't look like you're gonna you're gonna set up a car bomb anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, bro. Right? <laughs> now, yeah. Mark, you know what I'm saying. Well, we hung out at Nam, right? We were it was waiting. funny. It was yeah. funny. Yeah. Now I mean, we're going to have to delete this video. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, great. It wasn't as bad as some of the stuff I've said. I just I had a, I had to ask Ben Coombs to take a video down of something I said. I felt bad. I didn't oh. say nothing wrong. No repeats. No. 
<laughs> no repeat. <laughs> no. Hey, listen. Uh, I want to. Can I add my two cents? My battery's down my phone, but if it does, I'll go on my laptop. I want to add my two cents with that bass player. I can't really say what I'm thinking, but uh, anybody who really knows me knows what I'm really thinking. But the guy was a little bit out of line. I I had spoken to Joe uh, before that got going. And we both agreed that repeats would be just fine. And Joe was like, the more the merrier. It'd be everybody playing different versions of the song. And I was really uh, not happy because Dave Nesdol got robbed mm. at a playing the friggin' tune on, you know, on stage. He was going to not, he wasn't able to stand on stage. He told me he, I was going to let him sit on my cabinet, but he wanted to jam running with the devil. And I was like, for once, the guy's going to get up there and friggin' play. I want to see it. And, and something he was actually he wanted to do in front of his uh, future wife, and the guy and the guy and the, even Ricky was like, "Yeah, we just played it not too long ago." Uh, it was, and I was like, "Really? Come on, man! You know, it's it's an open mic kind of deal. It's like it's like uh, when you go to the bar and there's open mic. What do you call that? You know, it's uh, you know <laughs> karaoke. karaoke. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's one like I said before. It's one thing." Uh, if if everyone that was playing knows every song, knows how to play every song, and you can do that, but not everyone knows how to play Van Halen, and and you know, or not not everyone knows every Van Halen song. Maybe you know one, so let them play it. Just let them let them, let them play it. And yeah, absolutely. I'm not, talking, I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about anybody that wanted to do it. Absolutely. Well, when, I, when I went up there and, and asked to play "Feel Your Love" tonight, I know P, I knew Pete Testa had already gone up there and played it. Um, so, but that was a while ago, Mark. That wasn't one right after the other. No, that was like four or five songs ago. Exactly. It was only like you know maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. But regardless, didn't matter. It was like let's just do it again. You know? Yeah, I, I was down. The only person that gave a shit was that bass player. Like, and no one else would have cared. Everyone else would have been like, "Yeah, let's hear it again." Yeah. Listen, listen. If Jeff, if Jeff Kamen was up there or Kevin Rios, it would have been a problem. It would not have been a problem whatsoever. Believe me, they would. Uh, it just yeah. would not have been a problem whatsoever. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, that was the only only downside. But I wanted so, to see Dave play. Yeah, he was wanted, willing to go up there and play. I, I, I must have missed that. I didn't. I didn't hear that one. That one. That happened. I'm sorry. I was hear. right well, there. No, you, it was. Uh, you were on the stage when it was happening because I was going to go up right after you. Oh really? I, yeah, I was going up right after you. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that was total BS, man. And it, BS. I mean, you know. Oh yeah. It was, it was, I should have, you know, and, and I was telling, what was I telling Dave or was I telling Mark? I, I talked to both you guys on the phone about this. I should have said something. I blame myself, you know, because it's Joe's event, but it's my rig. I should have just said, you know what? Let the guy play. He wants to play. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. I, it was an afterthought. I, I thought about it. It's, just you know, in the grand scheme of things, I still had a wonderful time. Oh, and, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, I don't care. You know, I've got I've got nothing to prove to anyone, but I, you know, it would have been nice. It would have it's, been no, nice. It's about fun. It's just about yeah. having having a good time. You know, I well, mean, again, Dave, you you haven't played since we started this thing, and then you got your fiance there, and you're actually willing to get up there and play. It's a bummer. It's a letdown. Yeah. Uh, next year. Next year. That's yeah. Ingve, Ingve Con. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Uh, somebody, somebody said it's Craig Con. Oh my God, so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, that would have been the perfect song for you guys to play, though, because there's two guitar solos. You each could have taken a solo, you know? Need two rigs. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true, you know. It, it, uh, okay, I'll here. bring six cabinets and two heads then. <laughs> well, Les, actually, uh, Les Paul Gibson brought his, uh, his Eggnator with the Soldano module. Oh, and that brings me to another thing. That was still to this day, I think, in my opinion, is the coolest guitar that was there. Is his his uh, EVH Wolfgang? Oh, what he, the, his, the upgrades. His, well, he has a uh, he has a, a maple neck, uh, sunburst maple neck, similar to yours, uh, your your amber. Mm -hmm. You don't see them anymore. You just don't see the maple neck ones anymore, man. And that and that guitar. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning. D Dave, you didn't see the blue EVH I was playing with the ridiculous bird's eye maple neck? 
I what? forgot his name, but brought it. The, the, the Ernie Balls, the blue one. It was sick. You didn't see that? No, I saw the... At, at the end. The guy, the guy who was wearing the No Bozo shirt? Yes, that was the sickest guitar there, no, in my I, opinion. I didn't see that at all. Oh, he broke, Dave, he broke it out it. at the end. Uh, I said to I, him, I go, what are you doing? You're breaking this stuff out at the end? Yeah, yeah. I, I played it for a while. I was like, hey, can you do play some Van Halen riffs? You wanted me to play Van Halen riffs on it. Yeah. You know? uh, so I was like, yeah, sure. So I started playing it for a little while, and I just didn't want to play it. I just wanted to look at it. It was just gorgeous. gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't get to see that guitar. And I didn't even know you brought your gem there. I didn't even see the gem. I really? Oh, really? You missed it? I missed it oh, completely. Oh, man. Yeah, I had it out for quite a while. Oh. I let people play it all, all, all afternoon. Oh, my God. I would have so plugged that thing in. Oh, that so plugged in. You can oh. still plug it in. Come over. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. I love it. Next, love... next time you come into Long Island, just just come over. I will. I'm not scared. I love no. I love Ibanez, man. I got yeah, that, that's that's. A, I got another one coming. <laughs> you do <laughs> not a gem though. It's a it's a uh, an RG five seventy that's oh. that's uh, dipped in green and black. Hey, I'll show you a picture. Ooh, yeah, let's see it. I got a nice purple uh, five forty LTD custom. You guys would like to. See. I love them too. Yeah, the jewel blue. It's called. It's tw It's twenty one fret though. No, twenty two fret. Oh my god. Yeah. You serious? Yep, that's coming. That actual guitar I'm looking at right yeah. there? Yeah, that guitar. Oh, good Christ. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's sick. All right, put it down. I won't look at it no more. All right. Jesus Christ. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So, yeah, the con was great, man. Uh, and, uh, I, I'll admit, I mean, uh, Mark was telling me, turn it down, turn it down. And I had Conklin, fuck that. Turn, oh, excuse me. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to agree with Conklin, Mark. I'm sorry. It's just. <laughs> oh, well, we were, hey, you know what? It was, it was only in the beginning before the, uh, and this, this is the reason why when I plugged in. I'm not used to playing at that loud a volume, especially when there's a, peop, a bunch of people there. Yeah. Because as soon as you plug in and you hit a chord, Everybody's head goes, whoo, yeah. you know, <laughs> and they all, Love. they're all looking at you, you know, and I was just kind of like, hey, man, just turn that down a little bit, <laughs> you know, like I just want to no. be the center of attention. You're like, no way, dude. No, I can't tell you. It only goes up. Man. Hey, listen, nothing for nothing, but that amplifier never went past three. And it you shouldn't. Should it's the, that's what is that 120 watts 120 watts oh, yeah. and maximum for that amplifier is four and a half. It right goes back. to One 10. Second. It goes to 10, but four and a half. Anything past that, it don't get any louder. It just gets mud. Yeah, right. So I I, I put up the four and a half before anybody got there when I first plugged it in to warm it, up, warm it up. And it was the guitars were moving on his walls. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing. Oh, man. I bet. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> Johnny, seriously, man. It, it was something you, you would like to hear. It, it was beautiful. I, I keep asking Dave how loud that thing was. And he just keeps saying what? <laughs> well, it was loud, Johnny, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't making your ears bleed. At least not mine. No, not not not. It was mine clean. Either. It was just, um, especially when the band played. When the band played, it didn't seem loud. But there were times where, where you know, when when some when people would just play that that amp. This like some people. It depends who was playing it, right, Dave? It depends on who's playing. Sometimes it was too loud, and sometimes it's like, oh man, you could turn that up. You know, it, oh, it, yeah, yeah. it really, you know, it depends. It depends on on the finesse of the person that's playing it, really. You know, absolutely. You were playing. You were playing Judgment Day at the beginning, hmm. and that amp was probably as loud as it was the whole time, and it, it was. was. Perfect. It was perfect. It sounded amazing. It sounded Thank like you. Oh, that sounded great. Like it Thank really you. sounded like I was listening to you know uh, the record. Thanks for the most part. Thank you. you know? uh, and Pete on the drums too. Great job. But yeah, I wanted to give it up to that fat bastard, man. He definitely rocked the drums. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really great guy, man. That quadruple chin son of a bitch. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, he was awesome. He, he, I love playing Judgment Day with him. That's not the first time we did that together. It's not funny, oh. Johnny. <laughs> Pete, you want to get in here? <laughs> oh yeah, match. 
Yeah, Pete, get in here. And, <laughs> oh, man, my phone's going to die. I got to get on my laptop soon. Get on your uh, laptop now while we're waiting for Pete. Well, maybe my phone will die just as he gets in. It'll be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, Pete, uh, I, I've done – I played with Pete quite a bit uh, in a recent couple of years. And uh, he's an excellent drummer. Uh, no one talks about it. Uh, but he can get up there and, and just and he can wing stuff. He's probably one of the best I know at winging stuff, getting up there and just doing it. And he's he's excellent drummer, no doubt. Not, not to mention the guitar playing stuff, but an excellent drummer. And I had I had a lot of fun doing that with him. And how about this? Yeah, yeah. He says he learned that in, in uh, a couple hours. I think he's at the that was insane. It yeah, he did a great job. To learn that song. He did a great job. It yeah, sounded great. And, and um, John Conklin, I want to give it up to John Conklin. Uh, oh yeah, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Uh, I, that was one of the most solid, for my ears, performances and in, in sound. Yeah. Uh, even though he he feels bad about forgetting uh, Doctor, he really kicked ass on uh, Pretty Woman. I just want to tell everybody that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Mark, something like that. Mark, you're a you're a you're a bastard. You got Greg Cock coming on, man. I've been trying to get in touch with him for months. Oh, really? Oh, he just will not answer my 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 uh, messages. Ah, dude. I, you know what? I actually tried reaching him. It took me months to actually get him to answer me, and finally, I I was nice, nice, Craig. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, there you go. Oh, see? Um, yeah, so he finally answered me after I kept basically saying, it's Mark from Tone Talk with Dave Friedman. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's where that's that's the hook. <laughs> Dave, you got to throw my name around, man. Mark from What's that going to get me? 25 cents? And a donut? Get blocked quicker. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, it's all right. Well, I'll just watch him on your show. You know, you should try I'll to do. Try... I'll ask a question. You should get Brad Brad Gillis on your show because. Uh, I've been him... trying to get in touch with him too. Tell him you hate. Tell him you hate me. I don't think he's very happy with me. <laughs> Say hello. Hey, what's up, Lisa? Hello. Hi. I yeah, I've been, trying to get, I've been trying to get Brad Gillis too. He doesn't answer. He he. I was talking to him for a while, and then he stopped talking to me. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a, a few people. Lukather is also hard to hard to get in touch with. Oh yeah. I, well, I've been asking Dave to get Lukather on the show for a while. Yeah. Uh, Dave's busy, so it's hard. Uh, he's. I said to him today, I'm like, dude, you've got the Rolodex. Um. So. Eventually he'll he'll get to it. So, anybody else hear an echo? Yeah, I do. You want me to drop off and come back on? I'm gonna see if I can get in touch. With I don't people. think it's you. <laughs> no. I think it was me, guys. There Sorry. we go. Yeah, it was a video playing in the background. Johnny, did you send okay. Peter an invite? Yeah. Yep, you did. Yeah. How do I tell to the laptop, guys? Tell him real quick. There he is, Pete. Oh, okay. Here he is. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm call you. He's smoking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> He's, He's, smoking. Smoking. He's smoking the cigar. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, dog shit. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. He's definitely getting erased. <laughs> well, you know, you guys, guys, funny I, when he can just come in and say dog shit and everybody cracks. I up. curse on my show. I never get any problems. It's not my show, though. I don't. You know, it's it's the other guy. Oh, <laughs> I've I've had plenty of cursing on my show. No one, no one. You have cursing and drinking. And debauchery, I know. Yeah, I've, I've had craziness on my show. <laughs> it's okay. I'm in the witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, he breaks legs. He breaks legs for a living, that guy. I know oh, it. Man. That's why he's dark. You can't see anything. You can't see his face. 
So what was your take? What was your take on EVHCon? Because we haven't spoken enough about it. It was big. It's funny because I got, um, you know, one of those, um, you know, when you get those Facebook uh, memory things come up. Yeah, it's called a bad hair day. Yeah, we had a, a picture came up from the first time. It was 12 of us. Mm -hmm. And the original seven is me. You, Craig. Two Craigs? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to hang up on one of them, dude. I'm going to make sure got away. Away. You can't talk. You're going to have a loop. Good Craig, good say, su say Sunday three times. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. 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 Well, your YouTube setup's like your rig. <laughs> Can you guys even hear me? Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> go kill yourself. So, sorry, so go ahead, Pete. What were you saying? I forgot. Seven people. Original. So it was me, Dave. Uh, go kill yourself. Uh, uh, me. That's three. I know it was the first picture because Todd Stewart was there. Yep, but, with his pant, with his EVH jammies. Yeah, he, <laughs> he hasn't come back since. I don't know why. Because he got made fun of. I uh, think he's a man. <coughs> Who got made fun of? Nobody. Oh. But it was. No. We're outgrowing the store. That's the problem. Yeah, I would agree with you. You know if. Uh, this year was the most players that ever played. I mean, it was it was pretty wild that it was, you know, a solid, what, let's call it three hours and 40 minutes of VH. And mm -hmm. I heard talking about, you know, possibly doing duplicates. But it's kind of shocking that we didn't hit a duplicate song all day. Because they wouldn't let us. They wouldn't let us, Pete. Like, I don't even remember this occurrence. Like, when did that, did that happen when... Mark was playing. Someone said, no. "Well, when I, I went up there, I I don't know if it would happen before. Well, let's just say it did happen beforehand because when that kid, uh, that kid Johnny wanted the fifteen year old kid wanted to go up there, his father said, "Hey, can uh, can he play rock and roll by Zeppelin?" Or he asked to play a Zeppelin song, and immediately the bass player goes, "Dude, really already?" He's like, "It's you know," and that's the way he's talking to this guy. He's like, "Already?" He's like. You know, it's Van Halen con, man. You know, he's like, he's like, no. Like, yeah, but Mark, you wanted to play rock and roll Van Halen style, like live without a net, and he got turned down for that. Oh, there you go. Now that's ridiculous. That's yeah. ridiculous. And he um, wasn't doing it Led Zeppelin style. He was doing a Van Halen style. You see, I didn't even think about that. That's ridiculous. The kid, and then, the kid from the live without a net. That's his favorite. As you can tell, from the licks he was playing. Yeah. Yeah, well, totally. I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That makes total sense. And um, so they wouldn't let him do that, and that's why he came up and did Unchained. They were picking songs because uh, they pushed him into doing that. Um, and then when I got up on there, I was ready to do Feel Your Love Tonight, and I knew Pete had, Testa had already done it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, I figured I'll ask. And then they the guy was like, no repeats, man. I was like, okay, all right, let me uh, – well, out of love again. The singer's like, I don't know the lyrics to that one. I'm like, <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let's do well, running with it. And if I had known day that you wanted to do it, I would have never said running with the devil. You know. Well, I would never have. I would never have complained because I just don't do that. I know. I would have done. Ain't talking about love and stolen Rob song. But it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I know, but you know, I'm just saying. Who cares? Exactly, it shouldn't have happened that way. That is the bottom line. And Joe, Joe, I'm sure will make sure it doesn't happen next and year. And there was nobody there. And and Mike uh, from uh, Van Hagar, had, those guys were tired, so they they had to go home. Yeah, they looked. He white. would have stayed, and he would have sang a couple of songs, and he would have the Judgment Day with Pete now. Yeah, dude, when you, guys, when you guys, when you guys, Judgment Day with no singer, it sounded great. Pete, you guys, that sounded great. Thank you. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I have to say that that's really sounded good. And 
Craig, you were doing the freaking tapping. I was like, you need to teach me that. Yeah, no problem. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy, sure. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. So, uh, so Pete, what else, bro? I, I thought it was, I, dude, I mean, uh, I mean, I liked in the sense that it was pretty cool to see, you know, uh, it was kind of cool seeing secrets being played on that guitar. Oh, it was very cool. You know, uh, it's funny cause I talked to Joe and that top neck, it's odd. Like it's, it's, he, he lost his place a couple of times cause he just wasn't used to it. But, you know, he found his way back, but it was, you know, it was, it was a solid, it was a solid 88% effort considering, he, you know, touched that guitar for the first time and. Oh, yeah. Switch it between necks. I thought. Uh, he pulled yeah. it off. He still pulled and it off. It yeah. Cool. See Joe Gerard play uh, little guitars on the Les Paul. That was pretty cool. And he did dirty movies. He did a good job on that. And he jumped. He did a jump. Did he? I didn't see that. Yeah, at the end. I missed it. Okay. That's on cool. the floor, not on the stage. Oh. Cool. Pete, um, T Pete Testa almost went flying through a fucking wall. That was, <laughs> oh, that was funny. It was hilarious. I didn't see that. Oh, I missed oh, it. Man. Yeah. yeah. I've been looking for yeah. God, that's funny. <laughs> you robbing my fireball when I wasn't looking. Nice. Listen, it was a good day. You, you know what it is? It's a, it's a long day. You know, you get up early. Yeah, it's a long day. You're up, you know, you're just getting pummeled with music all day, talking music, seeing people. You know, it's just weird. You, you, you talk to all these people on Facebook, and then, uh, you know, like, uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I, the first time I met uh, Anthony Sagat. Uh, Sagat. Sajazi. Anthony Sajazi. Sajazi. Yeah, nice guy. Really nice guy, um, yeah. No, let's him. get him. Let's get him in here. <laughs> yeah, he's probably, he's probably putting his kids to sleep. Yeah, I've known uh, him to since bed. 1995. He's in Boston, yeah. right? No, no, he's he's he lives in Jersey. He he was a customer of mine at Manny's. We met at Manny's. He's a good dude. He's yeah. got a nice nice collection of guitars. It, there, he's got even nicer stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. Crazy. His 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 collection is crazy. Really? Awesome. Yeah, Dave, did you hit like massive traffic going yes. on? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, wa I wanted to. I wanted to put one of these right in my mouth. <laughs> I, I basically did. I had both Pete snoring. I was ready to kill both of them. Passed out on the cross island. Hey, yeah, no one to talk to, and you're stuck in traffic by yourself. Yeah, just with, with body, and, and, yeah, with bodies in your in your. In yeah. your just, it was, you know, <laughs> uh, I got, I, I left there at five. I didn't get home till late. You, you should have dropped him off in Sea Caucus. Yeah, I should have just left him on the Throg's neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. But uh, listen, God bless Pete Pizzo, man. Um, oh, yeah. he was great. You know, he um, got yeah. a workout. He was sweating. Yeah, man. He's, he's, he's uh, thinking. He's it's not. It's not easy. He's I can't play drums for one song, let alone all day. Yeah, He's I just a very... like, guy do that much cardio and get fatter. <laughs> 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 no, nah, he was a workhorse, and he was probably the most valuable player that day. No doubt. No doubt, man. He absolutely. And you know what? And he has no attitude. He's a super cool dude. He's like whatever you want to play. He, you know, he's not like he wasn't going to be like that. It was those other guys that were pushing that shit. Yeah, Pete's a no fuss guy at all, man. He, he's got a setup at his house. He knows. I mean, that guy knows how to record too. He wants to get a bunch of people knows, in his studio and record some of that stuff. Yeah, and uh, have fun with it. He has an incredible recording studio at his house. I saw pictures. Yeah, it looks looks awesome. And. Um, he he really knows what he's doing. He know he knows how to record. I mean, when you know, he he said to me he's going to Nam just for the gear for the uh, recording gear. And oh really? Yeah, he wants drums, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Are yeah, you he's Rangers pajamas, Craig. Are you 
<laughs> Do they have feet? Ah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's like entering the mind of an asshole. Have you looked in the mirror lately? I'm, I'm tired. I'm actually trying out a new lead singer tomorrow, so. Really? What what happened to what what happened? It just doesn't work. He uh, I don't know. He just didn't some he, he doesn't sing in the pocket, Dave. He needs a lot of uh in gig coaching and um mm -hmm. I'm just too old to direct traffic in a band. I, I you know, I need someone to come in and just do the work. And I got a guy, he's more our age. Um oh. And he should come in and kill it. So we're all excited about it. Mm. And we're, we're going to rebrand. Channel 29's a dead stick. Mm. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to come up with something clever based around the 90s and, you know, reboot it. Okay. You know, but, uh, you know, hell, helpful. You know, not that it's not fun. I mean, listen, playing a uh, part is a fun gig, but. I, I just didn't have the confidence to go anywhere else because I didn't want it to be a one and done. Right. You know, if we get a good guy in there, we, we need a solid fourth. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to go really well, so we'll see what happens. Okay. That's cool. What are you doing at your house? Yeah, I'm going to do it in 5150 East. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's nice. I, I like I like practicing down there. I mean, uh, my drummer doesn't mind the rollings. And it's nice because you can control the volume. You don't have to kill each other. Well, everything except the guitar, anyway. And uh, <laughs> exactly. Well, no, you can control it. It's not. You can. You can. I don't like to. You don't want to. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to. But uh, no, it should be good. It should be a good night. And then, oh, then Friday, I fly down to hang out with Brino. For oh, that's minutes. right. That's right. You're doing that's that. Cool. So another yeah. great guy. I can't. I can't go to the Tampa. Show, I mean, to the Orlando show. Unfortunately, why would happen? I just traveling too much, man. I hear you. I don't know how you do it. It's just too much. I want to be at home. I'm just kind of like you know. And and as much I know, you guys love Alice and Shane's much more than I do. You know, if I were as much of a fan of it as you guys were, I, I I'd probably be going. But I'm just not. Uh, I'm not as much of a fan and. Uh, you know, I love it. It's good stuff, but it's just you know, it's really only a handful of songs that I'm really into, and um, and it's just like I just don't want to travel. You know, I hear you. I mean, they, listen, they are tone monsters live. I mean, oh, I know. Yeah, it's, it's I actually that that sound guy who was on my show, he sent me. I should I got to send it to you and Tom. He sent me a soundboard recording of Alice in Chains that he did. Uh. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's unprecedented. It's it, it's good stuff, man. It's um, you know, it's it's gonna be a fun day. You know? Yeah, you'll enjoy it. You get to meet them. That's the best part. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah no, I hope you know if everything works out the way. It, uh, Maybe you'll get to show him how to play his own songs. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> give, give, give Jerry a few pointer. Yeah. <laughs> He can still play. He can play. He plays really good. His sound is awesome. That amp, that Friedman JJ amp is sick. It's funny, but uh, when you know when I was at camp with him, that thing is noisy, man. He had, oh, really? He had two MXR smart gates in his drawer. So I, you know, listen, I didn't ask his guy, but I mean, is it conceivable? Listen, he's definitely running one through the loop. I mean, is it possible he's running one through the front, too? I, I, I don't know. Maybe one's a backup? I, I don't know. They're both on. Yeah. Back. So, I mean, listen, the, the, you know, it's I've seen gates like the, the ISP uh, decimator G string that runs through um, the loop and the front. It's a good pedal. Uh, the jacks are very unstable. I used to use it. Um, it was it was very hard to. Um, it was very hard to dial in the um, the threshold just right in that pedal. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I, just, I mean, you have the smart gate, right, Mark? I mean, that, yeah, I've got the MXR here in my my room. It kills. It doesn't it's take awesome. away. It sucks out everything that you want. Yeah. Uh, None of you know, guys ever tried the NS twos? I swear by them. Actually, I I, 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 I lied. I have the NS two here on my board in the room, and I've got the uh, smart gate MXR on my other board in in the garage. So I think the uh, the boss NS two is good too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all I've ever used. Yeah. What you had the NS two in your board, Akon? Yeah. Was it on? I'm not. I wasn't making a joke. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, it was on. Yeah, good. Then, I didn't know. I didn't. I, I didn't. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have six of them on my board like Von Vis does, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love busting his balls. Yeah, he's got one pedal of flanger, then the NS2, then he's got the phaser, then the NS2, mm -hmm. then the wad, then the NS2. <laughs> he's got two of them, and he's got one in the loop and one in the front. I know that. Yeah. Uh, but that there is a loop on the NS2. You can run your loop also. You can run the front of the amp and your oh, loop. That's true. That's true. You only need one pedal. That is true. So I, there's my vote for next year. Pete, you bring your rig, and Craig, you bring your rig too. So we'll just have wet, dry, dry, wet, wet, dry. We'll stack them. We'll stack them. We'll put yeah. mine on top of his. Let's just do it. Stack them, yak them. <laughs> and then we'll play two rigs. Then me and Pete, me and Pete will go up there and we'll play the live version of uh, One Way to Rock. One Way to Rock. I'll do Eddie's part, so he can do Sammy's. Yeah. <laughs> Man. There you go. That's going to be loud. I know those parts. The kid actually wanted the the fifteen year old kid actually to do that too. Yeah. He and knew, uh, knew all the little parts. He did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He the kid was great, man. That kid really impressed yeah. the crap out of me. Yeah, he's watching us today, tonight. He's watching us. Good for him, man. It's actually refreshing. It is. You know, when that kid was born, but I, I don't think there was even an album out yet, other than the 2012 album. Right? When was the last time Van Halen's last album came out? Yeah. Oh, oh it was new. Twenty years ago. Well, yeah. he's, he's, so, yeah, he, he's not old enough. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. That's Metal good. Hall. He, that's Metal good Hall. parenting right there, man. Yeah. That's good parenting. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, all have, that's all I have to say. Yeah, his dad was a nice guy, man. Yeah, very nice. And he was, like I said, he was ear to ear smiles because uh, ooh, the kid plays out a lot. Really. Good for him, man. Um, at all, yeah, that stage didn't fear him. Who he in did. their right mind at 15 is is playing through a wet, dry, wet rig? You know, at a Van it, at a Van Halen con, it had to have made his his year. That had to have made his year. Of course, it made my year. Yeah, I, I, I loved, loved it. it. I thought it was great. I, I you know, I, I think they they kept asking him to come back up and play. You know, which was which was great. Um. The kid's two generations behind us, for Christ's sakes. Yeah. So it's always good to see. Um, I mean, listen, it's all our generation's kids. Like uh, my buddy Freddie has four boys. They're all brainwashed into the the world of Van Halen. He has a, a two-year-old that says, somebody gets me a doctor while he's eating oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hilarious because you like you know you try to make out did he really just sing that? You know, it's um it's cool. It's cool. That it's is cool. that is cool. That is cool. I I definitely uh, I'll have my son in the car or even my daughter and I'll be like a Van Halen song comes on and I'll just be like all right I cover the thing I'm like all right guys you know you know what band this is right and they're like Van Halen I'm like okay <laughs> got to teach them. Hey Mark, I put an offer in on fifty one fifty South tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Looking good. I don't know. I'll know tomorrow. Well, I wish you luck, man. That'll be awesome. I, I went in low. Well, why not? Try. You sure. give yourself a wiggle room, right? But my my friends went there, and the place is absolutely be, beyond me. The the property, the the complex. It's 
It's really nice, man. It's uh, I'm gonna jump on it if I could get it for what I want it for. So you moving to Florida, Pete? Nah, just a second place. Um, I'm gonna rent it for a few years. And then once I get the mortgage off my back up here, then Beth and I will, uh, you know, start off in the winters. And once we get, you know, that much older, I'll probably end up going down there for good. I'm not gonna be snow blowing and crap. Sixty years mm -hmm. old, I have no desire to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Hopefully, I'll still be here when that happens. When you come down, <laughs> you'll come down, and I'll move. I'll move up north. <laughs> I mean, you'll be in. A, you're about an hour away from me, right? Yeah, it's just across Alligator Alley, man. Literally, right. you're like five miles from the alley, right? I not even five miles. I am like a mile from the alley, less than a mile. I just get on there and head west, and uh, within an hour, I'm in Naples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as soon as it bends north, I'm like 10 miles. What's the address? <laughs> Make an offer. Put an offer in. I, told, that's, I wrote Pete today. I said, I'm putting an offer on that place. <laughs> it's nice. I'll probably, I'll probably end up soundproof in that garage. Oh, that's nice. Seven yeah. over eight is in the house. What's that? Seven over eight is in the house. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Yo. Jay. <laughs> Jay, you want in? <laughs> not if he wants to. Uh, <laughs> not if he wants his kickstand wet. Ah. So, Johnny, we're gonna have quite a crew out there for Nam this year. Yeah, that's what it. That's what it's looking like, man. So, oh, it's uh, gonna be Van Halen, Con, and Nam. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Nam virgin, so it'll be my first one. Uh, Pete Bizzo, who is the drummer at Con, he'll be there. Pete will be there. He's one of the guitar players. Craig? The act that lives upstate that wears Rangers pajamas will be there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rob will be there. Rob will be there. Um, I'll be there. You'll be there. Who am I missing? Is that it? Uh, oh, Tom Brino will be there. Oh, yeah, Tom Brino's coming. That's cool. And uh, Suma bailed out, so he won't be there. That's too bad. He's yeah. got a store to run. No, he'll, like, in, Jay. he'll be in Mexico, I think, with the wife and kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Good for him. Yeah, uh, and that's it. Gonna have a nice East Coast <laughs> presence out there. Oh. Ooh, I just I just read what Jay said. <laughs> oh. What did he say? I don't. Know. I can't see the chat. Box. They asked if we were still alive. Are you boners are still alive? Is that what you? <laughs> no, he says, "Do I want in?" That's going to happen when I put Ellie to bed. <laughs> I know. Uh. What I want <laughs> huh? Oh. Rob, he does gay porn on the side. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You mean Jay or Rob? Rob Johnson. Rob, Rob Johnson. Rob's Johnson. Rob Rob's Johnson. <laughs> I had not heard that before. <laughs> Let's start calling him Rob Johnson. Oh my God, that is too. Rob Johnson. <laughs> Dude, he, Rob is one of the nicest dudes out there, man. Rob cool Johnson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Rob. yeah. He is. He's, he... and, and and he'll give you the shirt off his back. Yep. Oh, oh, gladly. <laughs> right before his scene. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm joking. Hey, Clayton. <laughs> He'll give you a shirt off his back and then a handy. Yeah. Come on. Oh, we got God. we gotta send Rob a, Rob a link so he can defend himself. Come on. That's no. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he's in his dojo with three 14-year-old boys right now. Oh no, no, no. Oh. no you can't say that. Now it's you can't. good. <laughs> You're kidding. Now we get <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Dead air. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that it destroyed the show and Johnny has to delete it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Pete, Pete. <laughs> Pete, no repeats. <laughs> no repeats. <laughs> <laughs> no repeats. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. That was fun. <laughs> no repeats. You can't, Pete, you can't repeat. Walk, all right, it's not that funny. It was funny. <laughs> From now on. I'm not going to say you can't say that. You can't repeat that. No repeats. That, because that will... <laughs> the word Pete is in there. You see, Pete there was three Pete. repeats there. There were three Pete's there. No, three Pete's. Three Pete's. Three Pete's but, a piece? I'm crying here. Why do, I, why do I look like Rocky in like the 14th round in Rocky 1 right now? You look like you look like bloated Rocky after he just got killed. <laughs> he looks like bloated Rocky. <laughs> this guy, this guy Fucking Dave, you said that. That was hilarious. <laughs> bloated Rocky. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the funniest thing Dave ever said, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 nah, stop. Pete, stop right there. It, 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 it took too long. You can come up with another one another day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Dave, is it, Dave, Pete's thinking right now, bro. Yeah, but it took too long. It really took too long. Wow. If he would have come right back with a fat joke, would have been funny. If but it took too do long to think about it. Forget it. Wow, I don't see any smoke alarms in your house, Dave. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no smoke alarms, but I got plenty of plenty of firepower in the safe. Uh -huh. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I'm crying. That's so funny. That was uh, a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, I, no, I get that. That was a good one. I like that. It was <laughs> that wasn't good. It was great. That was fuck. That was so. Come fun. on, you got you, you know, even a, squ a squirrel gets a nut sometimes. You know. Well, uh, one thing about Pete, he's blind squirrel dishing it, but he can take it too. So yeah, he can take it because he's good at dishing it out. Someone's got yeah, to get it. Out. Many times you made me bite my tongue off that fat bastard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. What, are you tired? Are you tired, Pete? Yeah, a little bit. No wonder. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can, can you do any of this with David Friedman? Hmm. What's hey. that? No, I can't. All right, then. No, I can. <laughs> I, hey, Mark, Dave, hey, and Johnny, yeah. did you see where uh, Van Hagel ran that they were too tired? And then Pete Karuch, go ahead, go ahead and sit calls him. What did you call him, Van Faggots? Uh, <laughs> no, I think I, I think. Uh, uh, but I think we, uh, Bill is he had a flat tire or something. Oh, did they have a flat tire too? Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Bobby Dima did. Oh, she got well, one of them. One of them did. <laughs> Pete, uh, uh, Bill wanted to stay. Uh, yeah, he did. They were they, tired. They looked tired, though. They they were tired. Wan. Oh, <laughs> wan. <laughs> they were wan because you're Van Faggots. You should call your band Van Faggots. <laughs> and uh, and with that, the the show's over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happens when it gets into the two and a half hour mark. You know, no, this is a real show. This is how a show should be done. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is what people would tune in for. Hey, uh, you gotta keep, we're keeping it real. Yeah, that's oh right. My God. It's a real TV show. Oh. All right, kids. All right. Have a good night. You too. Uh, Take it easy. Uh, night, night, oh. Pete. Good luck good night, with your Pete. offer. Thanks for bringing me in, Johnny. Good I know you time. regret it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get Nizdal. He's your friend. <laughs> so you want to leave? 
Uh, <laughs> shot. And Dino's going freaking bananas, and Beth's trying to go to sleep. So let me go. Okay. It's 10 30 right, where you guys are, huh? Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's time to go. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. Peace yeah, we're going to sleep, right. dude. See you, Pete. <laughs> um, Eat you me, Pete. <laughs> can, can, we, can we restart right now? <laughs> oh, Let's repeat. Okay. We will repeat. That was oh. I'm going to watch the replay now. I'm with the bass player on that one. No repeats. Oh, that was oh. great. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was really a lot of fun. <laughs> Laughing my butt off. <laughs> You know, what? <laughs> this is you know what this is this is the reason why um, I, I I do miss the uh, having your friends on your show. You know, I hope you guys know that I you know I'd love to have this on my show. It's just uh, it it doesn't that the format's not right for it, unfortunately, yeah. with Dave. So. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Oh come on, um, it's all I good. Know, I already know what you're thinking. It's all good. So. It's all good. Uh, um, but yeah, you know, you know, you guys, uh, yeah. thank you for having me on. I love it. It was fun. Yeah. 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 Anytime, man. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Well, listen, if that's what it takes to be able to hang out with you, cause you know, it's gotta go one way or another then come on our show. Shit. Well, I'd love to anytime. Well, you just did. Well, I'm any, I'll come back on again. So yeah, we'd, we'd like that. That'd be, nice. that'd be awesome. Be great. So much fun <laughs> cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, okay all right so all good. right we're out of here everybody thanks for uh thanks for watching and this was not a repeat <laughs> <laughs> we um, all the way live we did it live <laughs> doing it live definitely live definitely was uh craig good to see you man yeah man you too and uh yeah good luck with your um I, we saw your card you've got business cards and stuff so oh yes chs custom guitars at gmail.com hit me up thank you yes cool 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 and and mark good to see you good to see you and yes. uh real quick who do you have on when's your next your next show oh so uh, next show is uh october 29th at 9 p.m eastern time with greg and I, I hope I'm saying his last. Is it Cock? Yes, Greg it's Greg Quok. Greg Quok? Quok. He says Quok. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, Greg is an awesome player from Wildwood Guitars and does tons of videos and stuff. And he's going to be on the show. And he's awesome. Really cool dude. Awesome. So, yeah. So we'll do that. And then uh, we just booked Robert Keeley. He's going to be coming on. Mm -hmm. um, cool. cool. Yeah. So. And we have a guest on Friday night as well. Jason, oh, yeah. Jason McNamara is coming down with us. Oh, that's right. Jason told me. Oh, Jason cool. is awesome. Yeah. Really cool dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He met he met Eddie. Yes. He said 5150. Mm -hmm. And he's got stories to tell all of us. Beautiful. He he uh, is really cool. I met him at Nam. You did too, right, Mark? Yeah, we had drinks with him at the uh, the Hilton. We were hanging that's out, right. right? Hey, yes. Nice guy. Mm-hmm. Really funny dude. I don't think he's going to be at Nam this year, unfortunately. But uh, he's from Japan, right? He flew over from Japan. Yeah. 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 That's. Uh, but he, you know, at the time he was working for Framus in Warmouth. Okay. He's not doing that and now. Now I think he's doing his uh, his own thing with the uh, video and stuff. So I'm not sure if he's going to get out there. Yeah, but, uh, he's doing some great stuff. He oh yeah. yeah, he's it's talented. Like really good dude. Mm -hmm. So um, that's awesome. I'll be watching. Cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, everybody. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're brand new. And we'll see you guys Friday. <laughs> Thanks, right. Johnny, for having me on, man. I appreciate it. Anytime, yeah. man. Anytime. All right, Johnny Bean TV. There it is. And hey Dave, Mark. B. <laughs> Bye. Greg. Craig, have a good night, man. I'll talk Craig. to you. Craig, yeah, you too. Good night, guys. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Um, no repeats. No repeats. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Batteries dead. All right. Now we can start over. Hey, everybody. It's Johnny Bean. <laughs> We're live. <laughs>